right, hello and welcome back everyone to a brand new game. The votes are in and the decision has been made. It was a narrow victory, oh my goodness. It was between Grounded and Fable, that was so close. But Grounded won in the end. And so we shall be playing Grounded. Hello and welcome, how are you all doing today? How's it going, Delica? How are you doing, Dire Bunny? Oh my goodness, all the drama that you've got from your D&D group, I'm absolutely gonna wanna read that. But we'll do that after we've at least jumped in. And I can kind of read out of the corner of my eye while I'm playing. Or I guess play while out of the corner of my eye reading. However it works. This is as far as I've gotten. I've gotten, I've changed a couple of settings in here. Um, in terms of like audio. Hopefully audio is good. I have no idea. I don't really know what we're going to run into. Just a continue button. I don't know why that's useful. We don't, we don't have anything here. We're going to hit brand new game. Let's get started. Oh my goodness, what are you doing? Okay, survival, creative, and custom. Survival, of course. Medium? Okay, wild, uh, mild, medium, and woe. Alright, well, I mean, I'm already immediately drawn. As you always know, I like playing on hard mode. Any kind of hard mode we can find. But let's see. Definitely gonna be playing survival, for sure. What do we have? Survival. The yard is a hostile environment, but stats are more forgiving, and friendly fire is off. Well, I don't. we're not playing... Multiplayer, so that should be fine. Recommended for first-time visitors to the yard. Moderate stress levels. Manage thirst, hunger, health, and stamina while you fight to survive. Oh, okay, so this doesn't have even any of those. Jeez. Okay, and woe is the most punishing way to live the tiny life. Bugs are tougher, vitals are harder to keep filled, and everything breaks faster. So we've played a handful of these types of games. We played The Forest, we played Green Hell, we played Subnautica, we play a, st just an absolute slew of these games. The Long Dark is another great game of one where it's punishing to try and keep your vitals up. We play a lot of these games. I'm feeling like we can just go straight into hard mode. I've never played this game. I know very little about it. I know we're like, uh, we're shrunken and we're in a backyard and we're fighting bugs. That's kind of all I know. That's kind of all I know. So I, I think, I think we can do this. In worst case scenario, I'm assuming we can, yeah, here we go, game mode. This can be changed anytime. Perfect. We can just always jump down if we have to. Same thing we did in Green Hell. Same thing we did in Green Hell. View mode settings? Oh, okay. All right, here we go. All recipes unlocked. Of course, that's okay, good. That's off. This is off. Bugs spawn. Quests there. Quests. All mutations unlocked. What? Start with all mutations unlocked. Okay, that's off. Uh, Holy yote. What? <laughs> okay. Oh, maximum stats. Okay. Bugs ignore players, building integrity, player damage, friendly fire is on, pet invincibility is off. Oh, we get pets? Cool. Did not know. Hunger and thirst is on, stamina drain on, equipment durability, food spoiling. Oh man, hopefully there's something we can do with our spoiled food, like we can in Conan. Uh, menu pause and game off. Excellent. Just like Dark Souls when we played Dark Souls 1, 2, 3, and Elden Ring. Excellent. Good. Uh, faction recovery. When enable bugs in the yards will become annoyed with you over time and take fight back. Oh my goodness. Uh, they fight to take the territory back. That's really cool. Okay. Handy net enables off. Helper activate flying. Okay, whatever. And back back items on death. Yeah, drop resources. Man, that seems acceptable. None of this seems ridiculous to me. This seems perfectly A okay. Let's jump right on in. Oh, we pick a person. Scenario variables. Is there any difference that we get between being the the jock, the cool kid, the nerd, and the cheerleader? Doesn't look like it matters. My Who's name's with... Peter. My friends call me Pete. You go with the nerd? Hey, I'm Willow. Willow Branch. Hey, nice to meet you. The name's Max. Very. Maxwell Smalls. Oh my goodness, the last names. <laughs> it's so good. I love it. How's it going, Sullivan? Welcome. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. How are you doing today? Allie who? Alley hoops. Oh my good grief. Ready for adventure. Pete, what's your last name? Do you like role playing games? I do actually all the time. We play them regularly. I think we're gonna go with Pete, because I'm already feeling I'm feeling his shirt, you know? My name's Peter. My friends call me Pete. Okay, but where's 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 your pun? Where's your pun for your name, sir? Sir, you're missing your pun. Whoops here. Ready we to have, mix it up? We have Alley Hoops, we have Willow Branch, we have Max Smalls. Ready for adventure. And Pete. He doesn't have a meme. It's fine. We'll live. How's it going, MJ? How are you doing today? Hopefully you're doing well. 
Chaos, how are you doing? How are you doing? What is this game? It's the game that won the vote. Chaos, it's the game that won the vote. It's a, uh, it's a backyard survival game. So it's going to be a, a tough game. That's the hope. So much like a lot of our other survival crafting games that we've played in the past. So we'll go play as Pete. Do you like role-playing games? Because I'm all in on role-playing games. I run Dungeons & Dragons. Let's do this thing. You're good at ground? All right. Well, this is my first time. I have no idea. I barely know anything about this game. I'm looking forward to blindly stumbling through it. Let's get in here. Ah, Yardwell name. Bam. Sorted. Welcome to Zeldoria. Let's go. It's Minecraft, but harder. Excellent. I mean, again, we've played things like The Long Dark, The Forest, uh, Green Hell, which is an amazing game. And I keep thinking about going back and playing more of that. They've done so many updates to that game. I've been thinking about it. Uh, Subnautica 1 and 2. You can't run from me, you foul beast! <laughs> you think you have smarted me? The mighty Muldoon? I don't think so, Yoke's Girth! Stay tuned for what happens next on Yoke's Girth. Now a word from oh our sponsor. Kids, are you ready for a new wild and wacky Puncho fruit flavor? Introducing Apricot. It's a punch to the gut. Stop by, fill up, and make sure you get your Billy Hog hot dog before Oh my goodness, what, what era is this? 50 cent hot dogs? Good morning, Brook Hollow. Today is October 20, 1990. This oh, is your news. There we go. We have a special breaking report. The police department has released information that more local teenagers have gone missing. They were last seen earlier this week, and the only connection between the teenagers is that they are all students at Brook Hollow High School. Oh. This could be linked to the disturbing trend of other possible abductions and missing teenagers from our otherwise quiet town. If anyone has seen the teenagers or has any other information, please contact the police department. Oh the mayor of Brook Hollow has put a curfew into effect for anyone under 18 starting tonight. Now to other news in the business world. So people are going missing. So it's not just us. How's it going, Balnor? Thank you so much for the resub. 17 months. Oh my goodness, I really appreciate the support. Thank you so much. Welcome back. How's it going, Rob man? Grinders is a really good game. You had a blast? Excellent. I'm looking forward to this. I mean, it's an obsidian entertainment game, so I mean, my expectations are high. I'm going to be honest here. How's it going, Rhonda? How are you doing? You can already see why your friends take every possible opportunity to hype this game up for you. It looks so cute. I mean, this thing's going to be, like, cute death. That's what I'm expecting. The year is 1990, and we found a nickel. We're rich. This intro is intense. This music? Oh, yeah. An airdropped briefcase? Oh, are we in the briefcase? It's unlocked. Oh, we are in the briefcase. Okay. Whoa, Pete. Oh, looks like you really stepped in it this time. Just where in the world are you? Hello? Hello? All right, Pete. Remember your scout training. Step one, get your bearings. All right. He was a boy scout, too. All right. I'm really feeling... I'm... Oh, my goodness. Wait. There's a connection for air. Look at that. Or maybe it's foam. I don't know what this is. We can jump, we can look around. So it looks like we have energy, health, water, and food on the left, so that's good. Jump with space. Alrighty. Run with shift, excellent. We like this. Goodness, bugs. Explore your surroundings, must go home. Oh my goodness, this is a ball. Oh, wow. My scout training doesn't have a merit badge for this. It's true. I don't remember this one either. Consulting Detective Weevil, hot on the trail. He's got a nose for the truth. Interact with the Weevil. You can punch. Can I punch the Weevil? I can. A nose. A nose. Nab. E. Trash. A sprig. Okay. Pebble. 
Nasty water. We're not going to slurp that. That sounds like a bad idea. Mm, curious. We have Huck and action. The okay, action is hit. Huck. Wow, did we throw that hard. <laughs> oh my gracious. You can already tell it's trying to have us go down this way because of the the item. It's supposed to make it look interesting. So we're going to not go that way. We're going to go this way instead right now. I have pulse sprigs? Okay. Grab a new rock. Can I have more than one rock? Can I have mushrooms? Oh, consume. You picked up a mushroom. You can eat consumable items via the inventory menu. Nice. Or... Choke it down, Pete. Come oh, Pete, we got this. Oh my gosh, it gives us, like, no food. There's gotta be a better way to get it. Uh, probably have to, like... Cook it or something. Put it in a soup, in a stew. Chopped, chopped down grass. Plant fiber, okay. Alright. Oh, why don't you just stay over there, small red insect? Yeah, I don't know if that. Oh my! Is that the electrical wire? I think it is. Oh my good gracious! <laughs> Jeez, it's a lawn mic. Hi, beast. My health is not doing so well. Hey, a common example of the Fermicidae family. Don't attack me, Mister. Go away. All right. Uh, does our health slowly regen? We got some mite fuzz out of that. Alright, those red mites are not good. Find water. This is probably not a good Oh, that's really bad. <laughs> well, that's really bad for us. Okay, I had a feeling it would be. Oh. What's that? I had a feeling we had to go this way. Alright. Fun fact, mushrooms are practically zero calories, apparently. Who knew? Right, fibers. We'll grab these while we're on our way. Oh, instant went to, instant the mushrooms instantly went into inventory six. Weird. They're like predetermined slots for certain items. What the Okay, locate the source of the signal, use the resource analyzer. And grab this mug. Okay, nice. Spacker safety test. Spacker safety test. Date 8889. Time 154 p.m. Location Tully Backyard. Supervising scientist Dr. Wendell Tully. Results Viral fluctuations are within an acceptable range. The machine itself continues to operate as expected. Waterproofing of the platform components is holding up quite well. The pylons, however, are a finicky trio. Managing the beam angle requires regular uh, obstruction removal. The yard is simply too alive for precision instruments. Uh oh, I still hear something moving around behind us. <laughs> I forgot, things aren't paused right now. Oh. Ecladane? Space? You fickle mistress. I'm not sh I'm not, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Reminder. Check in beginning cell... What? In beginning cell. Diagnostic bef uh, before end of day protocol. Okay, so we re in ourselves. <gasps> Granola bar. You can swap between first person and third person with you. Oh, look at our backpack. It's fly. <laughs> Ah. Naps and granolas. They go straight into inventory 7. Okay. Resource surveyor. It's not powered. Terminal's offline. Analyzer. Well, logic dictates that there are probably more of these stations around. Maybe if I keep searching, I'll find some clues. Or some one. Perfect. Analyzer charges. Solar charge. Brain power to zero. Zero is 60. Okay. Brain power unlocks. Oh my god. Oh, okay. This is how we le we learn recipes. Yeah, up to level 16 brain power. Okay. Space to analyze. Analyze pebble. Okay, so we can only do three in a day, it looks like. Raw science. Raw science. Is that a party hat or is that a drill? I'm not too sure. We have a pebble spear and pebble axe. Nice. And 15 brain power required. Alright, well, if we can only do two more things, I think probably plant fiber and 
Brig would be smarter for us to grab, but mushrooms would be nice to know if there's something we can cook with it. So we'll go see if we can cook something with this bad boy. Mushroom slurry. Excellent. There we go. Okay, we actually learned something useful here that we we'll probably end up using for eating. We need that. Select a valid resource to analyze. Ten minutes. Or, no, time's going up. I guess this is the time of day, maybe? We'll go for the sprig instead of the fiber, I think. I think that's what we'll do. Analyze the sprig. Next, oh, next charge is in, like, immediately. We got a uh, spiny sprig, a trail marker, roasting spit. Oh, this is a good call. Sprig fence, and we can make plant fiber out of sprigs. Excellent. Nice. All right. How's it going, Eastern Racer? How are you doing today? Welcome. Wait a second. That doesn't look like a person. That looks like a robot. Oh my goodness, Eastern Raider. Are you a robot? You're not allowed in here. Robots aren't allowed. Gone. Bam. <laughs> Be gone, robots. Not allowed. All right. So we just need to wait another 10 seconds. And then is it one charge or all charge? I'm assuming it's only one charge. I want to at least, we're going to wait and see this. we got to learn this here. It's only another couple seconds. And we'll try out the plant fiber and see what else we can get. Go from there. Uh, okay, so it's only one charge per amount of time. I don't know how much amount of time, but if we empty it, it'll tell us. This should be the last bit of raw science we need to get to level two. Crude rope, nice. Fiber bandage, that sounds really good. And plant slurry, okay. Common resource analyzed. Level one. Oh, and that gives us even more. Pebble hammer, a cover poncho. Oh, that sounds really good. Cover hood and cover shin guards. We already know about the axe. The crew. Oh, so I guess if we don't pick up some stuff. So we pick up some stuff early, depending on what we research. And we get some basic stuff otherwise. Nice, okay. And then we have to wait... A little bit on this one, so that's fine. Ring power unlocks. And if we look at this, okay, oh, I see. So depending on what we find and what we research, we might be able to jump levels. Otherwise, we unlock them one at a time. Okay, cool, cool. All right, we'll come back to this. Let's see, analyzer. We can do this a couple of times. Rock bottom, analyze. Oh, okay, sorted. Got those done. Quest done. Look for more science equipment. Okay, can do. So take these things. There's a, there's a brain. Do this. Craft with C. C for crafting. Okay. Get science. Alright, find clean water, craft an axe, and look for more science equipment. Well, let's go ahead and let's craft the axe first. Oh, the slurry here. Unanalyzed slurry. I can't craft it. Requires a grinder. Oh, I have to get a grinder. Oh no. <laughs> I forgot to figure that out. Um, okay, so we do need to have rope. Rope is for tying things together. Okay, so we'll, go, we'll definitely craft some rope. Craft two of those. Okay, so we have... What is that? Misc, melee, armor, healing. And some sap. Building. I don't exactly know what these categories are. A spit roast. All right, so we need some dry grass chunk. I'll have to go search for that. All right, so what do we need? To... Oh, here we go. So we got a spear, spiky. All right, so we got essentially a spear, a mace, a hammer, and an axe. And the axe we need to do. I don't know what the check marks are. Hmm. Yeah, I know a, a bot and chat. Haven't seen that in a while, right? A whole cup of raw mushrooms is about 15 calories, so on average, you would need to eat, uh, as a male, is 187 cups of raw mushrooms. Oh my goodness, that's nuts. All right, so we definitely need to make the axe. Does some damage, stuns a bit, and has some good speed. Looks like this... Wow, the spear has very low damage. Interesting. Okay, so the best damage is the spiny sprig, and does bleed damage. I'm tempted. Oh, but we need some thistle needle. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and let's craft you. That done. Mutations. Oh my goodness, inventory. Okay. All right, inventory is already sorted here. Perfect. Pin. What did I just do? Hot pocket change. Okay. It's, I double clicked into the thing. 
Looks like it's pinned here. A sign slot? On a sign slot. Interesting, okay. I think that's fine. Nice. We've got an axe. We can defend ourselves now. We've discovered crew rope. Level axe. We can block attacks. Oh, nice. You can actually just hold this to block. I mean, I don't know how much block this is, because technically we're blocking more with our wrist than we are with this weapon. Oh, time perfectly to perform a perfect block. Okay, so it's a... It's, okay, right. Be a little QTEing. Not quite. Well, it's just a time like we do with other games. So we have block, action, and huck. And apparently we've got the power to huck things really hard, really far, so we're not going to do that until later. It doesn't look like there's a carrying capacity, but there's like an inventory slot limit. Oh, this is dry. Don't come down here, big guy. This is dry grass. Okay, so you can charge up or you can continue with multiple slashes. Timber! Alright, we got the grass chunks now. Okay. Now that we got these grass chunks, we want to take a look at making... Missing ingredients. Requires missing ingredients. Place blueprint. Let's just explore a little bit further. We still have some food. We need to get some more water. Let's explore a little more here. I have no idea what direction we're going now, is the thing. We've got no bearings. Celery and mushrooms, you believe, are roughly negative 10 and negative 20 calories? That's crazy. Especially since mushrooms can be pretty filling. This is not some water we can slurp. Dry grass chunks. Okay, so these are just pick upable grass chunks. Nice. That's a soldier ant. Wow, you can really tell the difference from here. We should probably not mess with that. I have a feeling he's gonna mess us up. We're at half health right now. We can probably make a bandit, you know? No, we can't, but it's sad. We gotta go find a tree, I guess. Oh, water over there? Oh my goodness, it's 30 centimeters away. Oh, it's dew. I see. Drink dew. Um, can we get it from hucking a rock at it? Oh, I have to catch it. Oh my goodness. Come here. Oh, soak dew. Nice, okay. So we have to knock dew down to drink it. Okay, I see. Well, let's go and top ourselves off here. We discovered a dew drop. Good. Discovery acquired. <laughs> I hit both E and click at the same time, just to be sure. Alright, we're full up on that. What is this? Oh, an aphid. Right? There's a little green bug. Looks like an aphid. Maybe? Hello? The spring's over here. Yes, but celery and mushrooms are also delicious. I don't know about celery, but mushrooms for sure. Yeah, he's definitely wants us to follow him. No? It felt like he wanted us to follow him. Okay, now we're just in the middle of a lot of them. Let's try let's try hitting one. Let's just kind of do the same thing as the long dark with the uh, with the rabbits. See if we can get a good angle on one. We need a, a nice clean angle on one. We need to be on the ground too, ideally. Oh, or not. We can get this guy. Bonk. Come here. I'm gonna see if they hit him multiple times, okay? Yeah. Got him. First aphid remains. Raw aphid meat. Perfect. Alright, so we're gonna need to carry a lot of Oh, is that sad? Oh, it's aphid money too. Looks like that's edible. Let's go back to the science center here real quick. Also, can we hit a rock with a rock to make more rocks? Ah, oh, we need a busting tool. Okay, we can. So that's how we mine stuff. Okay. Zelda first instinct when seeing something cute. Let's try and kill it. I mean, listen. I've played enough games where you have to kill the cute things to survive, alright? 
I've learned. All right, aphid meat. Oh, and it does have a decay timer on it. Okay. Invalid object, common. Okay. Now right, let's do the let's do the aphid meat for sure. We want to know how to cook this thing. How do we cook aphid meat? Science. Stuffed aphid, adorable, aphid mount, cute, and aphid slippers. Okay, well, that's not at all what I was expecting to find. I thought we were going to find, like, this is how you make aphid stew, or aphid on a stick. Um, but no, we learned how to make a, a, a stuffable, huggable little thing. A, 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 you know, a hunting trophy. And adorable slippers. Mascot tier slippers. <laughs> okay. Um... We got three more. Let's do the rope and the dry. We'll do the mite buzz later, but I don't want to have to go and fight mites right now. So we're going to go and stick to the ones that we can grab on our own. The easier things to acquire. A sprig bow, acorn shovel, eye patch, and a canteen. Okay, those are big. All right, we've got some big objectives now. We're going to try and make a canteen. We're going to try and make a bow. Dry grass. What can we do with dry grass? Plant lamp, a stem pallet. Plank palette, a sap sconce, and a torch. Okay, those are all very interesting too. Common resource analyzed. Alright, good. Auto saving. Okay, so let's take a look at crafting. And we can go through water really fast. Our water is already down almost a quarter. Canteen, what do we need? We need grub hide. Jeez. Go find grubs, okay? To go track down some grubs. Some sap for this. An eye patch. Can't make it. Get some defense. A cover hat. And clover leaves. What to look for that? Poncho, clover leaves as well. Aphid slippers requires. Oh my goodness, we need mite, mite fuzz. Okay. Death waits. Hmm. Oh, for the slightest this. lapse in concentration. How's it going, Comatix? How are you doing today? And guards. Okay, so clover leaves are. We have to find clover. Clover, and we can make some armor. Excellent. Okay. Oh, look at this. Okay, so this is new, new ter uh, it's not tabs, new territories, new tabs. Yeah, I should up. construct some shelter and get some sleep. Uh, we don't even know how to make a bed yet, buddy. Ah, here we go. A lean to. Okay, clover leaves are our absolute top. Okay, thank goodness. <laughs> it's like <laughs> here we go. You can build blueprints without needing the uh, resources in the backpack. First place them. Oh, so just like the just like green hell. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yes, it was just like Green Hell. Excellent. That's great. All right, so let's close this for... Oh my goodness. Nope. We have sprint stamp? Yeah, we do have sprint stamp. Wow, we can sprint for a long time. We juked him. Here's a clover. Okay, let's get some clover here. And leave us alone? Perfect. All right, it's getting late. Let's go ahead and... Get ourselves some clover here. More clover leaves, please. Aw, oh, they're all three-leaf clovers. Sad. No luck on our side, huh? Yeah, it looks like we can kind of just carry however much we want. Okay, take stamina for swinging this, too. I know we're going to need a lot of clover for what we're, our objective. Oh, just grab that, please. We're gonna need a lot of clover, so we're just gonna knock down a bunch of clover here. A mysterious machine? Oh, that! Okay. Is there a map? There is, wow! There, oh my goodness, there is a map. Okay. Jeez, this map's huge. I mean, it's a small backyard, but big for us. Look at the size of that thing! It's probably the size of a... a bathroom scale? That's about right. Investigate the machine. We'll do that in a minute. Let's go ahead and let's get ourselves some armor and some some tools and whatnot sorted first. Let's head back over to the science machine. A nice little place that is safe with shelter. Only one way in. All right, crafting. Before we do that, let's take a look at this. So right now we have the axe, but now we can make the. We need nat fuzz for this. And a torch press. Wow, we need so many additional resources. We need so many resources to make things. This is incredible. It's a very deep crafting system with how much we need. 
miscellaneous stuff. Okay, we're gonna need like a lot of this rope. It's used in everything, and whatever this is. Hmm. I'm not sure. I wonder if he could die, bunny. All right, W for craft many. Okay, cool. Craft a bunch of these. Yeah, let's just craft all of them. We'll grab more plant fiber in a second. Let's just craft all the rope that we possibly can. All right, so clover poncho. We can make one of these. Or of course, a workbench. <gasps> How do we make a workbench? Who knows? <laughs> we have no idea how to make a workbench. Okay. All right. Well then. Um, that's unfortunate. Get some more. Uh, some more grass here then. Oh, these are planks. I, thought I was getting fiber. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we can only carry five at a time. Um, unload G. I'll just leave a pile here then. That's fine. Um, we can't really see what time of day it is, and we are struggling with water again. I don't see any dew. Whoa, look at that thing! Oh, there's some dew. Perfect. There's still some dew here. Don't even need to boil it. Bam. Alright, perfect. Ridiculous, no one should be taking damage at this size. But no fall damage? I mean, yeah, terminal velocity would be, you know, be easier to deal with. All right, what was it? B? B for the build menu? Spit rest? Okay, perfect. We're just going to set up a little place here. Grab some pebbles for that. We're going to just set up a little home right here for now. Right next to the science machine. Okay. All right, now what? A little spit roast here. Okay, cool. So you just tap it for each one. Excellent. We can go ahead and we can cook this bad boy. Hey, here we go. Spit roast must be lit to roast raw meat. Okay. Eat some, uh, okay. Find and eat some food. We're working on that right now. Set your spawn point that you're lean to. Use. Oh, okay. Uh, set respawn point. Okay, and so we can see the time here. We're not going to wake up yet. We want to make sure we eat this. Ah, okay, it looks like that's done. Oh, it, that's such a cool effect that converted it into uh, being eatable. And soon. Just pretend it's beef jerky. Oh, wow, that's actually quite a lot of food. A small snack? Yeah, it was a lot. You can see your respawn points as well as discovery landmarks on your map. Aphid roast acquired. We need to get more aphids. But it is quite late. I don't know if this thing stays on forever. Relocate? Oh my goodness. Oh, that's so convenient and amazing. I like that. Light it up, craft a torch. I don't think we have what we need for a torch. Though, actually, it's, what's it bringing me to? How many centimeters away is this? What's that noise? That's a fly, okay. I don't know if we can go in that water. Get that set. Oh, nope. Okay. We can go in water. <laughs> Let's get out of the water. I don't know if there's anything dangerous in here. Alright, so we found some sap there and up here. Okay. The sap is found on trees. I guess that makes sense. Ice cap mints. <laughs> more over there. Let's go back home. Go back to our little spot here. Let's do some research real quick. Let's escape the mysterious machine. Oh, we will. Oh, we will. Alright. First things first, let's discover what's going on with the sand. <laughs> Workbench! Oh my goodness, we got it. Perfect. Okay, so we're gonna have to go and grab more sap. Bummer. We're gonna have to go and track that down. Okay. Um, we'll go ahead, I mean, we really only have two other things left in here, so we'll take a look at the Might Fuzz. Arrows, Might Hat, Stuffed Might, Fuzz on the Rocks, and Might Mound. 
What is that noise? Hark, yonder lady of the clover forest. On what errand does the day find you? Jeez, you're huge. So ladybugs are carnivorous. They eat aphids. So I don't really want to go near them. <laughs> At least I don't know in this game if they eat people. But they eat aphids. So I'm concerned. Clover. Oh wait, do we just go into night vision? Science. Storage bucket, clover tail, and plant fiber. Nice, we can grind into others. Ladybugs can eat thousands of aphids a day. Yeah, that's exactly right. That's one I'm like, I'm, I'm a little concerned, I'll be honest. All right, we're gonna go and hide in our little lean-to here. We're going to sleep till morning. We're gonna get a good six hours of sleep. Or actually, I think it's ten hours of sleep. Yeah, ten hours. Okay, so I don't know what these big old uh, guns, like ray guns, are doing. Okay, we just can light it for free at any point in time. Amazing. Okay, cool. We need some water, we need some food. Looks like we have some buffs. Data. Craft quests, stuff places. Day quests. Oh, light it up. Let me make a torch. It's fine. Map. Craft. Inventory. Ah, here we go. No, it's not telling me what I need. Alright. Alright. Uh, let's craft ourselves a torch, now that we know how. Torch. Craft. Alright, we now have a torch. Fiat Lux. Wow, nice. Okay. Torch acquired. Oh, okay, cool. So we can do we can carry a light with us. Excellent. Alright, excellent, excellent. Uh, let's go ahead and let's do some hunting. See if we can find another uh, aphid here. I'm out of rocks or any more pebbles. We're going on a pebble hunt. Let's see what we can find. Just springs here too. So many things. Okay. Are there more aphids? We need to find some dew, we need to find some aphids. We'll eat like a king. Ah, here's some dew. What's that? What is that noise? One of the big things is I'm gonna have to learn what the different noises mean. Workbench woes. Analyze a grass plank in the analyzer. Okay. We can do that. Yeah. No water filtration tablets needed. And you. Yeah. Alright, we're up to full. Perfect. These pebbles are super important. Doesn't matter, square cube law works backwards. True, the good old square cube law. It's the reason why we don't have massive insect, uh, insects in our worlds these days. Oh, okay, stuff that we're hauling. I see. Okay, all right, cool, cool. Analyze the plank. Oh my goodness. Window, table, wall, wall, or half wall, half wall, door, wall, and fiber. Incredible. Actually, it takes a lot for us to get to the next level of brain power. Hello? Hey. All right. I'm still nervous about the ladybug. I love how shiny the shell is, though. Super cool. All right. Marker workshop. All right, so if we did the workshop, and then we spin it around... see there. Okay. It's a couple more planks. We'll probably end up moving moving base at some point here, but we have enough. Oh my! Uh. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's a bug head. Okay. What a wild workshop bench. Okay. What's our objective? 
Craft armor. Ah, excellent. That's exactly what I wanted to do. A might hat. I need to go get some grubs. Looks like they might be dangerous to do. Alright, let's go ahead and we'll start off with the shin guards. That sounds useful. Poncho. And the hood last. Okay, we had enough material for all of them. Alright, and then are we already wearing them? No, we aren't. Inventory. Inventory, just I. Yeah. Okay. That should keep me safe. Yep. Double click to, to safe equip. Fur. All right. Good. Good ish. <laughs> All right. We discovered the hood and everything. I wonder if we can analyze that. You're not. You're a worker ant. Come here. <laughs> All right. Well. I was, I was hoping. I was hoping. <laughs> Didn't work at all. Alright. Can I analyze... Nah, invalid object. Okay, so it's only, like, random items. Okay, cool, cool. I gotcha. Alright. So we can't do any of these. Oh my goodness. Hot pouches 1 through 3? Holy, okay. Alright, I see. We can sort? There's a sort button? Oh my goodness, there's a sort button. I love sort buttons. <laughs> Amazing. Alright, crafting. So I want to have a better weapon than what we're playing with right now. So this damage is... Like, I don't know why we would ever get the spear other than it attacks fast. Damage is kind of meh. Uh, we should definitely get a hammer, because we can use that to bust things into smaller things. More portable particles. So we definitely want one of these. Can't really make one of those, so I guess maybe we do make a spear. Swap those. Okay, so with our mighty hammer, can we break down a mighty rock? Okay. Do we get anything other than just rocks out of this? Yeah. Goodness, Jesus, takes a lot of effort. Okay, so it just makes us many, many pebbles. Which I am very happy with. Because I need many mighty pebbles. Alright, so I think it's time to go and explore more. I'm feeling a little bit more secure, a little safer. A little prepped and ready. Let's just go ahead and get ourselves that spear real quick, and we'll go from there. Okay. Inventory, we'll go ahead and get the spear here. Probably put our weapon in one. Put our ranged weapon in two. <gasps> aphid. I wonder if I could keep that aphid as a pet. That's a good question. And we'll figure that out after we're done eating. After we have a full belly. Yeah. Come Aw. How did that not hit? Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. There we go. Missed him. Where'd he go? Fids. Nature's lollipops. That was a big miss. There we go. Oh, come on. Right, it's on this grass right here. Gotta knock our food down. Hold on. Hold on. Gonna knock our food down. There we go. Here's our food. Oh my goodness, we have to really fight for our breakfast, huh? Okay. Looking at that. Uh, remember to keep analyzing... Oh, that happened so quickly, I didn't see it. What was it? Remember to keep analyzing resources at the game crafting recipes. Okay, yeah, yeah. And we'll grab these grasses while we're here, and we'll go ahead and we'll just bump them back on this pile that we had going. Well, now we're hungry. Consume. Mm. Not bad. Not as much food as I'd like. All right, that's enough for us to explore for the moment. I think. I'll have to go and search for another aphid soon. I'm trying to hold off on our portable foods as long as we can. <gasps> there is crouching. Can I kill this thing? The weevil. 
What do we get from a weevil? Harvest remains. Raw weevil meat. Oh! Ah! Right. Nice. Bunch of ants over there. Oh. Don't do it. Get that ant go. Okay. <laughs> Came right at me. Got me all nervous. 2v1, not okay. Okay, so that does make them go hostile. I was just curious. Oh my god. Oh, there's three of them. I thought I could take on two. I don't know if I can take on three. Oh, they're breaking my stuff. Ow. Oh, and they know to run when they're low on health, too. Wow, some of them do. Red ant, uh, red ant parts. Nice. Recycle. Okay, so they do have health. Okay, interesting. Hello? Oh. Another weevil. Come here, weevil. Alright, we're gonna be nice and full. What the weevil means? And while that's cooking, research the weevil meat. Weevil meat. Bro. Weevil shield stuffed weevil in the weevil mount. Okay, so we can just make a shield out of it, nothing else. Okay. Ant crossing. Okay, so they're passive unless we attack them, which is great to know. Okay, cooked, consume. Alright, it's a pretty good amount of meat. Oh. They're kind of cute. Ants are one of the cleanest animals out there, one of the cleanest insects out there. Weirdly enough. So we have some red ant parts and a red ant head. Uncommon. Oh, or let's analyze this uncommon part. Does it give us more than 15 standard raw signs for uh, brain power? A red ant helm. Okay. Now it still gives us 30. Oh no, it does give us 30 instead of 15. That's great. Alright, we've gained red ant arm guards and knee guards and nothing else. We've already known everything else. Analyze the parts. That's what we can do for at least a little bit here. A normal chair and a club. Ooh. Okay, so uncommon stuff gives us more science. Okay. Head. Hearts, fuzz. Man, we gotta get a lot of mite fuzz. So we're gonna have to go fight a lot of mites, it looks like. Yeah, mites are gonna be a regular acid sack. Or acid glands. Jeez, okay. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna be fighting those guys regularly. Weapons, though. Ant club. Oh my goodness. Look at that damage. We're getting mandibles off of them now. So we're gonna have Ant to fight crossing. a lot of them. All right, so there's a lot of these here. How's it going, Scorpion? How are you doing today? Zelda, is this basically Honey, I Shrunk the Kids as a game? That's, that's what it seems like, yeah. It seems like that's essentially exactly it. Now let's go ahead and let's get ourselves some more dew, and then let's go and do some research, or er, go do some uh, adventuring. Huh. Nice and clean. All right. I would like to have some spare aphid meat. But we can always hunt when we're, we can hunt later. Let's go exploring. All right, time to explore. What the? Tautanet, say intention. Your flight path is not cleared. Ow. Or I guess he bumped into me. I don't think he actually hurt me. Nat fuzz. We needed that. For oh, we need four nat fuzz for a uh, for a bow. That'd be great. Target. Activate. Power. Science. From off to maximum. How much science do you wish? Now we're playing at one quarter. One quarter science. Pff. We're just not even trying over here, are we? Electrical setup down there. Looks like we can drop in. We can. Processors. What we, is there anything in here we need to play with? Anything we can play with? A shrimp, a, an imbiginator. It's an imbiginator. We need one of these. 
because we're teeny tiny. Make fiber bandages. Oh, that sounds like a great idea. Healing. Fiber bandages. Sap. Oh, I forgot to get more sap. Off we go. Eventually, I'm going to get used to all the noises, and I'll know exactly what each one means. But until I get used to it, I'm just going to be paranoid every single time I hear it. <laughs> every time I hear a creature noise, I'm going to be freaking out. It's underwater here. Bubbles. Seems safe down here. Shovel. Okay. Looks like that's it down there. So we need a shovel for that, but we need an acorn. An acorn shell to make a shovel. We're not quite ready for that. Alright. Well then. Investigate the mysterious machine. I thought I already did. Maybe we have to go to where that noise is coming from. Maybe we hit the activate button. Let's hit the activate button. Or target button. Curiosity killed the tiny feet. Huh. Well, looks like this thing hooks up with those lasers. I don't think that worked properly. It seems like the machine needs all three lasers to function. Alright, so that one's got something in the way. This one's fine. That one's got a leaf and uh, a piece in the way, and this is not happy because it I don't know why. We have to go probably look at the base on that one. So this one's an easy one. We knock this bad boy down. Unblock the obstructed laser and find out what's weak in the other laser. Yep. Can do. Done. Right, while we're here, I'm just jumping. Don't even need to boil it. Oh, amazing. I can just jump and grab it. You can really hop in this game. My goodness. Look at these jumps. Woo! <laughs> we look really ridiculous when we jump, though. All right. Uh, we don't have any sacks, so we can't craft bandages. So we're gonna have to go and find a better way to get that. We're gonna find it like regularly. So the ant has a little bit of a health, like a line in the health bar. I'm curious what that's all about. I'm wondering if that's when they decide to like run away or something. I don't know. We shall find out. Okay, we're almost there. Oh, poor guy's got allergies. Sorry, Mr. Weevil. I need extra food. And you guys seem to be the easiest source of food for us. We don't have to hunt you down like aphids. We can just stab you in the back. It's a cruel, cruel world out here. Stabbing Those weevils mice are no match for the might of small Pete. All right, small Pete, let's do this thing. We need to get some might fuzz, some mighty fuzz. We now have a proper weapon. We're not just using a rock anymore. Oh yeah, bunch of might fuzz. All right, nice. Oh, we're back here. Oh, it's an electrical. Okay, yeah. That's what it is. It's, it's, I thought these guys were, like, smoking because they could explode or something. Like, um, the bugs that can, like, shoot flaming hot uh, liquid. What is that? It's huge. Well, I'm not messing with that. Uh-uh. <laughs> Hard nope. Looks like these guys are short-circuiting this. Hey, get off that. Oh my goodness, is it that powerful? Is our arm that strong? Oh, a little higher. Nope, a little higher. Bonk. That's the case. Why use the... Why use a spear? We can just tuck this at... Ow, what the... We'll use the spear in close range when we're panicking. That's, that seems like a smart move. But at range... Oh, jeez, these guys hop like crazy. Oh, my goodness, they're so fast! Where'd he go? Where'd you go? Head. 
the goblin of the backyard. Goblins. You know what they say? A foolish consistency is the hobgoblin of little mice. I hear you, but I do not see you, and it makes me very concerned. Where have you gone, little mites? Step out into the light and see how you fare in a fight. These mites are no match for the might of small Pete. Okay, those guys just never mind. These guys just have like low health because they're electrocuting themselves. Ah, Sam. Nice, nice, nice. Definitely needed that. Imagine being shrunk down as a teenager and all of a sudden having to kill other living creatures and designing weapons. And what kind of Boy Scout did? You, what kind of Boy Scouts did he go to? Uh, the cool one, of course. He went to the cool ba Boy Scouts, obviously. Let there be light. All right, little mite. Ooh. Stab like crazy. We'll hit him eventually. Give them no quarter. Real quick, we can make a bandage. Finally. There we go. Scratch, now we can use those bandages. Disturb the quest the is done. No bite. Oh! Right, we're definitely going to need these bandages in a minute here. We're just spamming the attacks. They may bite, but they have no right to be within my sight, these might. Alright, how do we get through this? Oh, yeah, banish them. I'm having too much fun. Whoa! Did you see that? The slow motion effect? So that charge attack is very interesting. this? I can't. What weapons would decay? Oh, they are breaking. Yeah, you can see its health in the bottom right there. I don't know what that is. It makes me nervous. Is this like a potato? Sturdy marble. Scabby. Additional flavor scheme available. What? Ah, we got a different style watch. I see, I see. Cool. How's it going, old red? How are you doing today? Okay, right, so we need a higher tier for this. Um, I'd like you to change your interface for uh, new visual flavors, unique guns, both day and night. Okay, cool. Certain resources require a higher harvesting tool, uh, tools to harvest, explore the world, and craft them. Okay. He had some demons. <laughs> he was waiting for this chance. Yes, that's exactly right. Is that what you telling me at the age of 16? You were, uh... Okay, age 16, we're being uh, generous with Pete here. True, we are being generous. I think he's probably more like 14, maybe 12, somewhere around there. He's like, he's early teen, I think, right? If you're shrunk down, uh, you could just go murder living creatures that look cute and eat them uh, either alive or dead. Well, first things first, luckily this game makes them all look cute. Because I don't know if you've seen close-up pictures of... Oh. I don't know if you've seen close-up pictures of, uh, of bugs. They are not this cute. I could, I could, I think I would have more, like, nightmares than this guy would have. Um, the food thing would be definitely a tough one, for sure. Give me these mold stalks. You just wait till you see the damn spiders in this? Ah, okay, so we'll, we'll see. We'll find out. Alright, was that enough to get it working? Just getting these guys to stop shocking. Hello? These things are just little demons, aren't they? Being dark, we should go sleep. Let me get this last mic here real quick. I wonder how much a heavy attack would be with this. Oh, I see. It's just brought. We just went in a full circle. Nice. Aphid. Mary Aphid. 
I whipped it. Yes. All right. Home sweet home. Let's do a little bit of science. Let's get some sleep. Is he ain't gonna like him anymore once you see those? Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Probably not. I'm not a huge fan of spiders. Oh, we can actually research bandages. Weevil knows. We'll get this weevil real quick. Hello, weevil. So sorry, weevil, but I need you. Come with me. Alright. Alright, so let's go take a look at... We can only get three of these right now. So let's take a look at the bandages first. Bandage. None. We get nothing out of this. But we do get science out of it. Okay. Okay. We still at least get progress. That's good. That's good. Um, let's go and get the Nat Buzz. We're off by one Nat Buzz to making the bow, which is unfortunate. We can only make a stuffed Nat out of that. Okay, well, darn. That's the only new one we got. And the last one, let's do it out of the raw Nat meat. I think that's more important than the stocks right now. This stuff's decaying. We're gonna have to go and cook this. We got a lot of meat on us. Anything particular we can make out of this? We can make a mouse. Okay, there's literally nothing else. Otherwise, we'll just eat it. All right, we'll just eat it. Uh, we've got like 40 minutes before we can do more science, so we'll wait. Wait for now. All right, let's go ahead and light this bad boy up and let's cook it. We'll cook their oldest. Oh, that's space to cook. We'll cook these two. Oh, it looks like we can get maybe three on there at a time. Nice. They don't stack. Alright. Arrows. We just need to go find some thistle needles. Weevil meat for the weevil shield. We need the grub hide. That's the big one here. Hopefully this shield will defend you better than the weevil it came from. Consume. A little chewy, but not bad. Oh, that healed us. Looking at the replay. Yeah, heals is a decent amount. Nat roast. And nap the food. How long is this roast going to last us? Well fed meals and heals. Nice. Slows and restores. Uh, wait, slows and restores a large amount of hunger? Okay, slows how much hunger we get. Okay, nice. It's delicious. Let's finish cooking the rest of them while we're here. Cooking them up. Oh my goodness, we're going we're going full Gordon Ramsay over here. At least not yet. We, we need, we're at least making it not raw, right? <laughs> it's the, the thing we're going to need is a little more seasoning. We need some seasoning on this at some point. But boy howdy, are we ensuring it's not raw? We're going to cook this like crazy. And these things, like, boil over, or like... Uh, if we don't take them off in time, they, like, overcook. Sort. Nice. There's a defrag button. I wonder what that's all about. Oh! Oh! Sorry, boys. <laughs> Suck. Traffic jam, my bad. Sorry about that. We need to get some water. Okay, so what we need to really do is... What was that? There was the canteen. Here it is. We gotta go find some grubs. Oh, it's nighttime now. Hey, buzz on the rocks. As literal as they come, drinking this disgusting combination somehow makes you healthier for a while. Play and fuzz. Maximum health goes up and it heals us. Okay. First, it's a smoothie. Health, drink, and smoothie. Okay. We can build a house. We're not going to build a house yet. I don't see foundations, though. I don't see a floor or anything that we can do. I'm going to get some flooring down if I can. Storage bucket, trail marker. We're just going to kind of live in our makeshift uh, area for the moment. I don't really want to go too crazy with building new things yet. Yeah, I need acorn shells. Looks like we can get a lot of them, because they're used in a lot of things. We're going to have to go and fight ants. That's the way it's going to need to be. All right, water is the thing we need to get. So let's grab this little bit of dew over here and let's go to bed. I don't like being out here at night. Yeah. Bonk. 
more filtration tablets needed. Not Brattier. Bedtime for us. Sleep to morning. What is that noise? <laughs> I don't like that noise. Alright. No idea what that noise was. That was terrifying. All right, we are thirsty, we are hungry. Let's get some water first. We've got... Oh, maybe it's like a crow or something. An aphid. It's fine, we got, we've got food on us already. We don't have to worry about the aphid. We just need to get the water. Bonk. Perfect, water acquired. And then inventory, food. Oh my goodness, the food's actually starting to give out. Consume. Just close your eyes and imagine it's a fruit pounder. Consume. All right, perfect. So we're all full up. Though this isn't going to last much longer on these. So those are a large amount of hunger. Yes, yeah, so they both. Okay, so weevil, weevil roast and aphid roast are pretty good. They large. It's a large amount of help, uh, or hunger that we get. How's it going, Trizak? How are you doing today? Great game, glad it won. It barely won. It was by the skin of its teeth. <laughs> hey, Kiva, welcome back. How have you been? Really fell in love with this game a while back, but uh, the difficulty or lack of balance, in your opinion, made it hard to get into? Oh, interesting. Okay. Well, I'm a huge fan of extremely difficult games, and we're playing on hard mode. We're playing on, what is it, lack difficulty? I think it was. We just picked the hardest difficulty, because that's the way I like to play games. We've played a lot of these survival games, too, so I, I feel pretty confident we can do it. And so far, we haven't had any real issues. Our health hasn't gotten below half health, so I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about it. Of course, I'm sure there's going to be something out there that's going to, like, one or two shot us. And once I have, like, my armor starting, like, my top tier armor starting to fall apart quickly, then we'll be in trouble. Okay, so P1, 2, and 3. All right, let's hit the embiggening ray. What is this? A cassette? I'm tiny. I was a fool to have ever doubted myself. A fool! A fool like Klein, like Kaminsky, like Schmetter, like all of Ominent. I am here in the backyard. Down in the backyard. I mean, I am speaking to you from the backyard. I am tiny! And he is mighty. I should gather my thoughts. This is a momentous occasion. Wendell Tolley official log, 89.08.05. Recording as I take my first steps into the miniature world. The sights are unbelievable. The textures, the, the way the light falls upon every surface, the subtle patterns in all of the objects that surround me, the grass. Even common lawn grass looks like a structure from an alien world. Wait, what's that sound? The very earth is trembling. Over there, what could it be? An ant! <laughs> My god, today the world has changed forever! <laughs> Wendell? <laughs> He's so excited. He's so excited. You like hardcore survival too, but you don't know there is no feeling of, oh, that's how I get better, uh, slash can handle it more easily. Oh, I see. So it feels as though, like, the progression in terms of, like, tools and equipment and the like just doesn't feel like it gives you much of an edge with the way that the difficulty setting is, like, ramped. Right? It doesn't help offset the difficulty ramp, is what you're saying. So it requires more skill than it does um, progression. That is a tough one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the hard part with these types of games is you do definitely want to have a good feeling of progression and getting more powerful in which you don't have to rely on just getting better at the game getting better at the game i feel as though should be part of every game but it shouldn't be the sole reason why you're able to defeat the game at least not in this one dark souls that's yeah, totally different totally different dark souls that's the whole point right but in a survival crafting game like this not what you're aiming for see if i can get this mat i need one more one more fuzz from this man Couldn't really track him. Ah, yeah. oh, whiffed it. Yeah. Come down here, you. Jeez, I can't get him. 
Can't get him at all. Thank you, but thanks for the follow. I appreciate that. Good to have you here. Alright, let's go ahead and hit the button. Activate! Oh, nice. It actually takes into account what we're wearing. That's really cool. Do we beat the game? Oh, that's not good. Okay, we did not beat the uh, game. My bad. <laughs> Alright, so we there was a power surge. We need to go to the oak tree. So there's a power surge and we probably blew a transformer. Darn. Alright, so we're gonna have to go and fix that transformer before we can go anywhere, right? I'm assuming that's what it is. I don't know what else it would be. Because they're gonna have to like augment the amount of power, right? It's coming out of a a standard two. I'm assuming this is in the U.S. This is for a standard 220 or 240 power out, uh, power input. This thing looks like it requires a lot more power than that. To big in a person. Where'd that gnat go? There he is. We could really use that gnat. So if we can get that gnat, we can get a bow. I would love to get a bow. Keep a creature. What? <laughs> I'm sorry. You want me to what? Press X. I spy. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I see. I see. Okay. All right. That makes sense. <laughs> I'm gonna watch the doggo. Might tune in again later. Yeah, we'll be playing more of this. We're only an hour into the stream. We'll be playing more of this for sure. <laughs> We're strong and mighty, but we can't quite hit through the... Yeah. Oh, come here. Oh. Man, this gnat is just as obnoxious as gnats in real life. Luckily, we've got some sap here. Oh, we should check out these icebreaker things. These mint, mint, uh, mint pieces. Oh, what is that? What? You can just find raw science floating around? Okay. I just found some raw science in the pond. Alright. Hey, we got plenty of food. We're full right now. Can't get in there, can I? This definitely doesn't look like it's, uh... The texture doesn't look like it's designed for someone to be able to get inside. I'm gonna want as much sap as we can get since this is a healing item. Okay. Alright, so at some point we're gonna have to decide where we want to start building the base, I'm assuming. Mysterious machine. Nice caps. Field station. Baseball. This is kind of where we've been playing around with this whole time. There's a lot of extra territory. I'm not too sure where we want to go. Patty up there is a pond. Pond's probably going to be useful. But dangerous. I don't think you should do raw science. Please practice safe science. <laughs> probably shouldn't do raw science. You should probably cook it first. You know? Maybe safe. Safe about it. At least do your due diligence. Oh, what is this? This is more that aphid do, yeah? You ate it! You monster! Give me that aphid do back. Oh my goodness. Alright, so they do retreat after a bit. Uh, get him! Yeah. Oh, I totally whipped it. Where'd he go? Don't you run from me! Don't you dare. Ugh. Well, I can't throw when I'm tired. Ah. Got him. Give me that. Let's head back. We ran way off course. <laughs> Put my head down and just started running. I don't want to go off into a place that I'm not familiar with right now. Oh, more sand. Like that. So aphid do. I don't know exactly where we get that, other than just like on the ground when we're lucky. 
Or maybe we're able to farm aphids at some point. That'd be pretty cool. How's it going, Cersei? How are you doing today? Where's that aphid? I hear you. I think he's on the rock. Or he's in the rock. I mean, there's that too. <laughs> You're very embarrassed? Oh no, what happened? It's a gnat. Come here. Or a weevil. Come here, weevil. Damn. Oat stool. Yeah, we really need to go and start upgrading our tools. Let's go grab a bunch of stuff here. We should probably do a little crafting. A little bit of crafting and research. Let's go back to the research station and do some crafting and some research here. Bring these planks with us. Let's head on back to our little, uh, our tiny little camp. Let's see what we got. There's gotta be a little more science we can do. I love how long we can run. This is really nice. Wait. Where do our planks go? Our planks disappeared. That's awkward. Alright, well in that case, let's go ahead and let's get one of those plank carrier things. Can we dismantle uh, things that we've crafted? Is there a way to do that? I don't want to have to like relocate each of them. There's got to be a way to dismantle these, right? And, like get some resources back? Maybe not. We just need one more net fuzz and we can go ahead and we can make the bow. Of course, we can't make the arrows yet. I haven't found a thistle. Wait, no, the thistles are the uh, like the dandelion things that we're seeing up above, aren't they? We can get those. We can get those. Or we just need to get some mandibles, which probably means we need to go and fight the soldier boys. And we can go get these. Armor. Oh, look, we can make an ant helm. Oh, hold on a second. Hauling strength increased, light armor, or fuller. Interesting. It's the same resistance amount, so I think we'll actually stick with the clover hood for now. I don't know what the hauler, hauling strength means. Maybe we can pick one more um, blade of grass up or something. This doesn't seem quite quite as valuable. At least not yet. Just to go for that. Yeah, hauling strength versus fuller. I think we'll stick to fuller for right now. Okay, actually, if we get two raw aphid meats, we can go and get the quickness. Not very effective defensively, but makes you run like the dickens. I like that idea. Oh, we need one more one more set of ant parts. Mario. Strafing. Come here. Come here, come here. I'm, I got a head and parts and no mandibles off these guys. Not sure why. Alright, so we need to go find some aphids. Is there another ant? Look at another ant. Ow. Oh, I missed him. Oh, I like the, the bouncing mechanic. It's really good. Don't you dare. I hear you. You can't run from me. I have ears of... Oh, I want that gnat. He's down at the ground. Got him. Yeah, no mandibles. So I think we do need to go get him for the warriors. A net. Oh, not a net. An aphid. Jeez, those things are fast. I lost him immediately. If we can get this net, life's going to be a lot easier. Well, potentially easier. Oh, I got him. He dropped a thing. What did he drop? Spoiled meat. Oh, okay. I didn't kill the gnat, though. I only knocked it and knocked into him. That's half his health, though. Yeah. Oh! God, I swear these <laughs> <have> right over him. <laughs> oh, one more. We gotta hit him one more time. We got him with one more hit. Blunt force trauma to the face. Come here, you. Come here, you. Dodging weaving like crazy. Oh. oh. Baited me. Aided me. 
Hang out for a second. Just hang for a second. There we go. There we go. There he is. Got him. Wait. Wait, where'd the body go? No! I just knocked him down, but I don't know where his body went. Well, that's not good. Oh, maybe, did I knock him way up here? Do I have an arm that big? Oh, I have no idea where he went. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, all that effort, too. Alright, I got to get better at tracking him, then. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see. Holding shift and scrolling on the mouse wheel brings us to our other... Uh, other inventory slots. That's cool. You have no idea where that gnat went. Oh, man. We needed that, too. Any chance he fell in the water where I wasn't looking? Not in the water. Oh, that's a super big bummer. Right, at least we can go ahead and get... Well, maybe. If I can get two of you, we can go ahead and get some slippers. Oh, missed him. Funk. Yes. Fids, nature's lollipops. Where'd he go? Oh my goodness, I swear. Like, I hear them and they vanish on us. He's so fast and everything's all green. <laughs> I don't, I can't trace him. Darn. All right, let's try another time. Let's go do some science. We got distracted. We were gonna do some science. Actually, we need some water before we do any science. Don't even need to boil it. Right. Definitely need to go on a pebble collection run. We're running quite low on pebbles. Mostly because I keep throwing them everywhere. <laughs> it's just raining pebbles around here. All right, is there any other science we can do? Oh yeah, we can do a good amount of science. Spoiled meat. Oh, all of our meat's spoiled, except one. Analyze the spoiled meat. Can we do anything? Science. Spoiled meat slurry? Gross. <laughs> that sounds disgusting. I wonder if it's useful. Maybe. Alright, what can we make the weevil nose? The big old nose. It knows it always knows. Also, this gets us to the next level, which is great. A gas mask. What? Science. Rub vest, leggings, and goggles. This would also give the canteen. We really gotta get this canteen sorted. Last one we got is this mold. We gotta find this grub. Slime mold sconce and torch. Nice. Okay. That's it for things that we can research right now. Caught up on research. Alright. What is this, defrag? What? What did that just do? We dropped some meat? Oh, it stacks things that are stackable. Sorry, I had to watch the replay. <laughs> I had to watch the replay to see that. So it stacks what's stackable, but doesn't reorganize things. I see. Man, we picked up so much fiber. Inventory's almost full, actually. I need to start worrying about my inventory space. Should be able to let your wait for a short time. Okay. So it's a more urgent torch. Let's see. Oh, we gotta go track down. Oh my good gracious, look at this thing. <laughs> Jeez. A stink bug part. Oh my goodness. Okay. We're gonna track down some grubs. Grub sludge. Ugh, gross. Okay. Alright, we need to do some serious uh exploring. I guess this is our next next thing we need to do. Let's go peekaboo something. Peekaboo and aphid. We need some more food, because again, we're nearly out, yeah? We got spoiled meat. Yeah, we got no actual edible food right now. 
Also could use more clover, I think. Go knock down one or two more clovers here. Let's also get some more petals. Petal spree. Perfect. 14 pebbles on hand, excellent. Alright, so I think it's time for us to just do some wild exploration. We've been sitting in that same area this whole time, so let's go and explore a little bit. The sun is setting, and it is 4 p.m. right now. We can't go out for too long before it ends up being nighttime. I have to explore a little, see if there's any other points of interest we can run into. I don't want to do any of the underground stuff yet. Probably where we're going to find the grubs, though. That big thing over there is a little terrifying. I don't know what it is. Oh, that's an actual spider. Whoa. That thing is huge. We're going to let that be. <laughs> We're not going to go bug good at spider. He can hang out over there. Yeah, since more people are here uh, who wants to hear about the D&D drama of, one, of your One Piece campaign where the creator of the system just burned through the entire uh, burned the entire work to the ground but you said they were all cute well it is still cute in comparison to real life real life spiders when you look up close to them are absolutely terrifying except there are a couple of them that aren't that terrifying but most of them are absolutely terrifying okay i think we have to fight and uh, ah this guy's got the mandibles for it hey you come here yeah we have to fight a soldier, I think, to get the mandibles. I want to go and move up to the next weapon, to the club. Yeah. Come here. Oh my good gracious, look how healthy he has. Oh my no. Oh no. All right, let's get out here till we have a nice big old battlefield. Come here. Strafing. No. Uh oh, the worker ain't helping. That's not good. Get out of here, you. Let's get my stamina back. Don't do it. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh my! Oh my good gracious! That thing instantly took out half our health. Ow! Oh my goodness! Oh, it's called the kid case. That's not terrifying. Field station, kid case, respawn, guide. Okay, well. <laughs> Resources drop, keep slain by an ant, uh, equip damage. Okay. Oh, we dropped all of our stuff. Oh, jeez. Okay, we gotta run back over there real quick. Okay, oh, there's actually a marker. Oh, there's some raw science just floating over there. Nice. Oh, my goodness. That was terrifying. I saw him, like, prep up for a launch. Science. Raw science. science. I saw him, like, preparing for a big jump attack, and I was like, ah, it's probably fine. He can't get me this far away. Yeah, he can. Yeah, he can. I love that it's in centimeters of distance. This is awesome. I hope all my things are still here. It's amazing. It's all, it's like, how far away? It's not feet. It's not meters. Cent oh. Oh, this is probably the gas mask needed for this. Oh, what the tech? Dickens is that? I poke my head in and just steal these parts. Ow! Okay, I can, but it hurts. Yeah, I do take too much damage way too fast. Something's gross over there. Ooh. What is that? The mushroom over there is exploding. Okay, yeah, we, we definitely can't deal with that right now. <laughs> nope. That won't work. I'll read through what you got in the chat there and won't hear dire money. Let's grab ourselves a little bit of dinner. Head home. 35 slots out of 40 remaining. 36. Alright. 
38 out of 40 remaining, so we are almost out. Didn't grab any aphids. Brutal. All right, we'll do more exploring. I would really like to go and actually make a house. Stem pile, plank pallet, bucket. A bucket that holds up to 20 stacks of an item. Posiness. <laughs> okay. Rail markers. Workshop. We already got the workshop. This is just decorations, looks like. And this is... Oh, research things, what they can be used for. Those on the rocks. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Oh, what time is it? 1800. We don't have anything new for science, I don't think, right? Nothing new for science. Okay, so, if you take a look here. Well, where we've gone is we've gone here, and we've gone up this way to this zone. I think this is the ant hill, and this is the toxic zone. Should have looked at the map while we were over there. I think that's what it is. The hard part is I don't know where I want to start building a ma uh, still start building our base. Be sure. Alright, so we need the peep creature. We should do that next. Well, let's go ahead and let's eat first. And investigate the oak tree explosion. Is. Oak tree explosion? Where is the oak tree on the map, even? I think this is it. I think that's the oak tree. Yeah, so that's the oak tree right there. All right, we'll check out the oak tree next. All right, everybody, what do you got here? The owner was a DM in the game. Someone in the game went down and their mic died. Oh, hold on a second, let me finish eating here. Yum! Munch, munch. Oh my goodness. The weevil roast is really good. All right, let's sleep till the next day. Sleep till morning. All right, uh, so the owner was a dungeon master in a game. Someone in the game... Oh my goodness, there's purple coming out of that. Wild. Uh, went down and their mic died. Uh, they kept getting targeted. One of the players shot their gun and asked, why don't we just run away? Two of the players said, no, we can't handle this. They actually did handle it, and no one died at all. One of the players messaged the down player later explaining and asking if everything was okay, because uh, they got attached to the character and the DM, owner of the system, just started banning people, deleting channels, removing role. Wow! Shutting down the entire Discord? Holy! That is a massive overreaction. Oh my goodness. So was it the... Was it their character that went down? And then that's why? Well, if my character can't survive and be epic and amazing, then no one can play my game. Is that did I did I understand what you said right? Because that's the case. Jesus, no reaction. Ah. Here you. Oh no, the owner was the dungeon master. They just flipped out over the. No, you can't question my balance? Oh, okay. Someone questioned why they did something in some way, and they were like, well, if you, don't, if you question my system, you can't play my game. He was dungeon mastering a game with his own system and got pissed off. People questioned the balance. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's an overreaction for sure. Okay, our inventory is way overflowing. I've been grabbing way too much stuff. We need to go and get. We need to go and build some stuff to hold some things. My inventory is very full. Unfortunately, I like to carry all the things. All right, let's go ahead and let's make some buckets. Yeah. Or wait, do we make buckets here? Buckets. We need rope. We can make some buckets. We'll make a bucket here. A bucket here and a bucket here. Okay. Three buckets. We're any more clover too. Let's go grab some more clover. Clover, clover, clover. I know we're almost... Oh! We're almost out of energy. That's what that is. Okay. Hey, you. Your inventory is full. Try crafting some storage. 
Oh no! We will roast. Go ahead and consume. Mm. Salt. Grab this. Don't do it. Don't do it. Now we'll, we will murder you. I won't hesitate. Cook, cook, and cook. There we go. Open up our inventory and get set cooking. Hey, you're still following me, buddy. Ant Jeez. spotted. Jeez, I was just so nervous when he's coming up at me like that. Alright, let's go get some water in the meantime. Nice and clean. I think we can just jump to it. That's really nice. That's really convenient. It's very nice. Ah! Oh, nope, no good. Punk. Oh, come here. Perfect. Consume. Intake. Perfect. Inventory is quite full, but uh, we can build ourselves some rope. Craft ourselves some rope. Many rope. Many rope. And ropes. Oh my goodness, the storage bucket holds way more than I thought it was going to hold. I thought it was 20 of one specific item you put in there, not 20 slots of inventory space. That is not at all what I was expecting. I thought it was going to be, like, 20 pieces of grass. Work backpack. Is there a faster way to deposit? Deposit hot... Do oh. Nearby hot deposit. How do we do that? Hot deposit. Hold E. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. Oh my goodness, it's amazing. That's oh, that's so good. That is so nice. Get another bit of clover. It's fine. We only needed one. Buckets hold an infinite amount of stuff. All right. So in which case, let's actually um. Let's see, Q to retrieve. It's one at a time. Retrieve stack is R. Perfect. So what we're going to do is we're going to put meat stuff in here. It includes the spoiled meats. Oops. Includes the spoiled meats. Because uh, these mushrooms don't decay, so that's good. We'll hold on to those. Uh, this one's going to be our plant fiber stuff. Plant-related items. Okay, you can also shift click X. I'm glad about that. That's just more natural to me. And then we'll have this be like rocks. For now. Up off the extra sprigs. Hold on to like three of those. Oh, customizer. Interesting. Okay. And we just hot drop. That's for everything that was nearby. Oh my goodness, it's so good. Sort pack. Actually, you should have this also be bug parts. Bug parts in here. Alright, now we can go serious resource scavenging. Oh, this is great. Sort. Alright, our spear is starting to break. Can you repair? Repair with R. It's a pebble. Oh, easy to okay. Just replace the pebble. Nice. I still want to go and get this, but I think we need to get the mandibles from the, from the actual big boys. I don't think there's anything we can do about that right now. I think we're just going to deal with the spear. Nearby storage three in range. We can craft from storage nearby. This game has quality of life like crazy. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. That's really good. God, the quality of life in this game. It's gonna make it really hard for me to play other games, huh? We start playing other survival games. It's gonna be brutal. I spy. Let's eat a peep creature. Mark that one off the list. 
Build three. Keeping new bugs in the yard unlock creature cards revealing weaknesses and resistances. We found the data tab. Okay. We can also use this for wayfinding. Okay. Okay. Cool. Now if we go to datas. Weaknesses none, resistances none. A tiny, harmless, sausage-shaped bug found in the regions surrounding Oak Hill and other grassy areas. Becomes raw aphid meat on death. Killed three. I've definitely killed more than three, but I think I've only stabbed three to death. Just that. Um, let's see. These people are questioning his balance. Yeah, because the players were second, uh, were second sessions. One player never played D&D before. They were fighting 11 enemies, 10 of which had permanent advantage and dropped two fireballs on players. Oh my goodness, jeez, they were level 5? Holy, that already... Yeah, I'm, I'm already questioning his balance. <laughs> fireballs? Two fireballs on the on the party? Are you kidding me? That's, that's a lot of damage. Good gracious. You, <laughs> you sure he properly balanced that game? Alright, we want to go towards the oak tree, so we want to go this way. Start exploring this direction. I didn't bring any extra food on us, but we should be okay. Be able to get there and back. Oh, sap. You severely, uh, severely miscalculated how much insulated wood you have. Somehow you have 30,000 insulated wood in a chest that you forgot about? Oh my goodness. Jeez, that spider. Scary. I don't really want to go anywhere near that spider. When he's coming... Actually, he's coming to us. I've got no choice here. Yeah, aphid friend. Uh, we do not want to be over there. It's a big scary... And luckily, we can see it, like, knocking the grass out of the way, so that's convenient. Ugh. If you want to get to the tree, we're going to have to really go around this guy. How's it going, Amarash? How are you doing today? Welcome back. Is this a snail shell? What is this? Nah, that spider. Snail shell. Nothing I can do with it, though. Hmm. This game seems massive time-wise, but it's fun watching people progress. Enjoy. Thank you. I'm enjoying this so far. It's a it's a very intriguing game. <laughs> what we need to do is we need to pick up two aphids. So we need to go grab some aphids here. Juice drop. Oh, juice drops discovered. Okay. The drop of juice from here, which I'm sure we get like a little bit every day or something. We'll leave the rest of it for now. We need to go get a canteen. Gotta go find a grub. That's a juice drop too, right? Yeah. Bunch of juice. Bunch of weevils over here. There's a bunch of weevils over here. Where are we at? Let's just continue going up. Did I see a gnat? Did I just see a gnat? Or am I crazy? I think I'm crazy. Oh, I saw a gnat. I'm keeping my eyes to the sky. One more gnat and we can get ourselves a bow. Then we just need to go and get a thistle. Which I'm assuming... There are a good number of thistles around here. The number of weasels here is absolutely massive. <laughs> They're everywhere. Plenty of food. Food's not going to be a problem. Is it clover? Oh, that was clover, yeah. Oh, it's just a flowered clover. Okay. Did we get anything from a flowered clover? The 
the flowering clover give us anything? Yeah. Ah, just the flowers disappear. There's something big over here. Ladybug. Okay, we're fine. Alright, what else are we looking for? What else is over here? Keeping our eyes peeled. We're getting real close now. <laughs> How long have you been playing this? Science. Uh, we've only been playing it today. Jeez. Seeing the shadows change. <laughs> Freaking me out over here. Being this tiny. I was wondering if there was a grub in there. It's not. Okay. Need to go get some breakfast? Alright, enjoy. What are you going to get, Stormy Snow? What's going to be the breakfast of champions today? A bird! There's no way, right? Yeah. No. Oh, right, well, that's what that noise was. Now we know. It was a crow. It's a really bad crow noise. Oh, <gasps> acorns! Oh my goodness, we found acorns. Nice, we can bust them up with our tier one. Can we eat the acorns? Acorn bits. Oh man, I, I've eaten acorns before. They are not delicious. Not gonna lie to you. They are not delicious. But they are edible. Acorn top. Hmm. Any hope for many streams of this game? Yeah, we just started. So the uh, we just had a vote that was going on yesterday, and the vote had ended. So whenever we finish a game on this channel, we have a vote for the community to decide what game I'll be playing next. And this game won. We will actually be having another vote tomorrow. Another vote will be tomorrow. Because uh, yeah. on this channel, we have two time slots. We've got a Monday, Tuesday time slot where we play a game. And we have a Wednesday, Thursday time slot where we play a game. We defeated Darkest Dungeon 2 last week, which is why we had the vote. Can I grab this? Oh my goodness, a sap yeah. chunk. Nice. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, come on. Come here. Oh my. That's huge. Uh, but yes, we had a vote for what game was going to be playing on our Monday, Tuesday time slot, and so that has now concluded, and we're playing this today. But tomorrow, because we finished Destroy All Humans last week, we will be starting a vote for what's going to be played on Wednesday and Thursday. So either make sure to come by to the stream tomorrow, we'll have it going, or it's going to be up on the Discord channel, so you can always find it there, or you can always go to the About section down below on the uh, Twitch channel here. And it ha there's a button that says current vote. That'll bring you to the current vote. The one that's on there still links you to the vote that this game went on with a very narrow margin. But uh, starting tomorrow at the beginning of the stream, that will also have a... Uh, it'll, that'll also be updated to the new vote. It looks like you have to follow this. I had a little noise thing pop up. It's okay, go this way. The amount of sap here is amazing. Okay. I thought we were going to have sap issues, but I guess not. <laughs> Sap's really easy to come by. That's great. Acorns can make uh, can be made into flour. Fun fact. Yeah. Oh. No. Oh. Uh, we can run around to the other side of this place. That's where the explosion was. It was this way. I'm not going in there. There's two spiders in there. No, I'm not doing that. That sounds like a silly idea. I have a feeling we're going to need a lot of sap, so let's just go grab a whole bunch of these sap chunks here. Oops. I have a feeling we're going to need a lot of it. Flowers. There it is. There's the purple. What flavor to drink? Back 
side of the can. Let's go to the front side of the can. Oh, wow, this is gorgeous over here. Now, this is a place we could build a base. Soda drop. Discovered soda drop, okay. Weirdly enough, it only gave us a little bit of liquid. A little thirsty. Is this just some dew? No, it's just more soda drop, okay. Doesn't look like this is something we can use, huh? No. Hmm. That's a good old puncho. Armed raspberry puncho. This looks like a nice place to build. Want to build a house? Let's look with there. This is like a nice spot. We can just kind of like build on one of these rocks. Out of the way of uh, all the grass, so hopefully, away from all the spiders. <laughs> oh, come on. It definitely been a hit. Where? Where? What? Where? There. Nature's lollipops. One. I need one more. Where did the one go? One more aphid and we can make shoes. Come here! I'm gonna make shoes out of you! Oh, that was the wrong button. <laughs> that was... That was the wrong button. I hit R instead of 2. Oh, it falls off! Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Come on down. Come on. Get out down here. Okay. We just we need to carry more rocks with us. We've been here since 18 or 19. Uh, New Vegas. Yeah. New Vegas would have been uh, 2019. New Vegas would have been 2019. You have a great community. Uh, you listing your schedule makes me think sprinkle a movie or any media with your community I think your fans would enjoy it. Might be an interesting idea. I haven't thought I've not thought of that before. Definitely need to do more stuff. I need to clear up more of my schedule is the hard part. I need to get more I need to get more free time. So we can do more stuff. You know? Up and up again. It's just so much sap I just want to grab it all. What's our inventory look like? Our inventory is great. So we can science all the acorn stuff, so we'll definitely do that. Don't you lie, Zeldor? We have asked for movie night? Wait, have you? I feel like we did a long time ago, like many years ago. Mm, I, if so, I don't remember. If so, I don't remember. Oh, it's not a Luke Goblin game? Oh, you know it, Left Hand Luke. Welcome, how are you doing today? Some circuitry exploded. Whoa. Is this a train? Wait, what? It's a lab. Tired today? Well, hopefully you get to put your feet up for a little bit. Well, it's purple. Man, look at this. Like Rimworld long ago? Could be Rimworld long ago. Could be. Those look like idealized geometric shapes in that paint thing. They can't be real. Or can they? Okay. Is this where we find science? Huh. An analyzer. Perfect. Any more rounds of analyzing. Analyze. Can I make an acorn mush? Science. Boost juice. Okay. 
uh, acorn shell. Oh my goodness. Chest piece, mask, la uh, leg plates, storage box, water container, sign frame, and grinder. Oh, we need that for something. Something needed that. Hmm. Do it and put it on YouTube? Hmm. It's a thought. We'll look into it. We shall see. No promises at the moment. No promises at the moment. What is this? A sap catcher. The smoothie station, a spinning wheel, an acorn fence, and a garden patch. Wow. So we can grow? We can grow stuff here. Cool. Alright, here we go. Raw science. Where? What? Veins, space reduction, but not just space. Which dimension? Quarks? Bosons? Contain? Cool? Who knows? Can it be cooked? Will it blend? That is the question. And some power, we can't use that. What's this? Oh, I press it, but nothing happens. Big button, open. Discovered Oak Lab. Professor Oak? Oh my goodness. I'll be taking all that, thank you very much. <gasps> Water! Oh my goodness, yes. Black Ant Hill. Warning, security lockdown. Edge, hostile presence detected. Can you show me another one? Pond, warning, battery backup failure. Okay, so there's multiple labs. Another lab. Show me another one. A is air containment control. Error critical. Delicious tea. Alright, uh, is there another one? And then back to Black Ant Hill. Okay, so there's five labs in total. If we include this one. Electric scanner. Oh, it's watching us. Creepy. We can't go in there yet. Won't let us. Help, burgle? Stand? Oh, he's got a spatula! Hydrate, you got it. Oh my god. Is burgle a burgle? Uh, a burger guy? If so, I'm all in. I could use a hand here! Hello! Thanks for the helping hand. I am B -b 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 Burgle, acting science manager for this project. I am also a robot. I am sure this all must be very disorienting for you, but hopefully I can explain. Please, it's 1990. How is there a robot? I suspect you were miniaturized by Dr. Tully's spacer device. Okay. Why are you here in the yard? I do not know. In fact, I cannot seem to recall much of anything. That's unfortunate. A recent power surge has caused a massive raw science containment explosion. This lab, as you can see, is a disaster. It's true. I like this guy's mustache. <laughs> He's got a good mustache. And what's worse, the explosion has disrupted my computing power. My memory banks are corrupted. Ah, that's unfortunate. Sorry to pile on the bad news, my new friend. How can I be of service? Uh, where am I? How come I can't remember anything? Yeah, where, where, it's more, more important, where are we first? Most important, let's figure this out. You are here, in the Oak Lab. Built and used by Dr. Wendell Tadelli to experiment on all things small. Okay. This is the base of operations for conducting experiments in his yard. Okay, so we're in Tully's backyard then. Okay. Um, we'll, still, we'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. Just keep on with this Tully is a brilliant scientist and inventor. Okay, great. That was, that was very, very informative. We now know everything we need to know about Tully. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, science. 
We're learning about science. He is also my creator. My initial protocol was to serve as the short order cook of the future. Ah, this actually makes sense. However, I have been recently promoted to acting science manager. Oh, it's my time. With his experiments. No doubt my previous work experience has been invaluable to Dr. Tully. <laughs> yes, my ability to flip burgers has increased my capacity to do science. <laughs> right? Uh, but yeah, it turned green, so it must be, must be dark now. Although, now that I am processing it, I have not seen him for several weeks. And now I cannot recall where he went. It must be my corrupted memory banks. Okay. Now why can't I remember anything? It seems you and I are both a little discombobulated. Such a good word. Given my best calculations, your biomass has been subject to covalent spacing reduction via interatomic energy extraction. Uh, yes. <laughs> In other words, you have been shrunk. Thank you. It is likely this was achieved using Dr. Wendell Tully's spacer platform, patent bending. Oh. Shrinking can be a traumatic experience for tiny human brains, and memory loss is a known side effect. Hopefully, your memory will return in time. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, how do I get home? To return to your prior size, you would need to successfully activate Dr. Tully's spacer platform. Okay. How do we do that? Unfortunately, my readings indicate it is inoperable. Okay. It appears to have suffered several malfunctions from the explosion. That's not good. All right. I am sorry, but it appears you may be stranded here for some time until we find a solution. <laughs> Say nothing's an option. Amazing. I kind of want to... Well, being silent will not get you home. Does your vocal synthesizer require maintenance? Uh, yeah, I can use a little water. It's getting a little dry over here. Haha! <laughs> that is a great idea. Let me run a full diagnostic scan on it and see what we need to do to get it fixed up. Can you scan it from here? Incredible. Processing! Processing! Okay. Memory fault. Code 408B3000. Ominent OS script runtime error. Ah, okay. Well, you know. We hoped. Arg. I am sorry <laughs> again. It appears I have sustained more damage to my memory chips than expected. Yahar, unfortunately, we memory chips aren't standing up to standard procedure. <laughs> Turn into a, a pirate over here? What's going on? How's it going, BitBot? How are you doing today? Without those memories, I do not know how to repair the spacer. Okay, right. uh, memory chips. Can we track them down? Dr. Tully used two types of chips to back up my memory. Okay. okay. Auxiliary chips are small capacity chips used to store project data. If you find these, I should be able to help you learn new survival recipes. Oh, okay. I like this. That's nice. Super chips are special, and they are gold. Super. They up full directories of my memory system. Okay, and let me guess. They're scattered in each one of the labs, right? If we are going to fix the spacer, that data is bound to be on a super chip. Okay. I suggest exploring the other labs yep. in the backyard. Return with any memory chips you find. How did I know? Dr. Tully has built many more labs throughout the yard. Okay, and? Each lab is used for various experimental procedures. I can upload their locations to your scabby. Stand by. Perfect. Processing. Processing. Error? Error. Yeah, I guess. I saw that coming. Code 632C404. Cheese and fries. <laughs> the lab locations are missing from my memory banks, too. That's not good. But we are in luck. I was able to retrieve the location of one of the facilities, the Hedge Lab. Okay. The Hedge Lab is the observation center of the yard and used for research on arachnid webbing. Oh, jeez. Okay. You will find the Hedge near the house if you head southeast. The lab is located deep inside the Hedge. Sending the coordinates to your scabby. Try okay. to find the hedge lab first, but there is nothing stopping you from searching the yard for the other labs. Except, of course, thousands of angry, hungry insects. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me. Dr. Tully locks the important labs with biometric scanners. You will need access for any chance of success. I will. 
Head over to the ASL terminal and place your hand on the biometric scanner near it. Give it a moment to sync your signature into the mainframe. Okay. Once you are registered, you will be granted access to the ASL network of computers too. Perfect. ASL grants access to daily work items. Nay, tasks. Nay, quests. Yes, quests. <laughs> yes, the I word. will reward you raw science for each completed Ooh. quest. Nice. Okay, we want that raw science. Great. If thought you're doing well. Excellent. Good to hear. I'm doing well. I'm excited. We finished the votes. We're playing this game, and we'll have another vote tomorrow. We'll be ready. Be ready for another vote. In my science shop. You can trade raw science back for survival recipes from experiments that Wendell conducted when he was first exploring the yard. Science. Log on to the ASL terminal over there and see what is available. Unless you have any other questions, you really should get started finding those ships and try not to die out there. Okay. Have an exponentially great day. All right, so there's only one logic loop that I do see a bit of an error with. Um, he gives us quests, and when we complete those quests, he gives us science, and then we use that science to give to him, so he gives us recipes he already knows. You know, logically, if you just gave me all of those recipes that you know right now, that would further increase the likelihood that I would survive the action of going and resetting the lab and getting you back to your primary objective of doing science for the doctor. I feel as though the quests are unnecessary. I'm just saying. Right? Like, that's a... To me, it seems like a bit of a logic leap there. But that's fine. Raw science. 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 Logic powers overload. Yeah, overloaded. Logic powers overloaded. Alright. Nothing else we can do over here, huh? Ah, this. Oh, press hold. My bad. Powering up. Where's the fun in that? True, it's not fun, but logically sound, I would say. Alright. Work, work, work. Okay, circles us back over here. Okay. Open this bad boy up. Man, we, we put our hand on this uh, biometric scanner like Decker mashes uh, elevator buttons. <laughs> My goodness. Come on, raw science. I got a lot of raw, that's a thousand raw science. A lot of raw science we picked up. Lab modules? This morning, I installed the borrowed lab modules. Another one of my forgotten inventions from the early days. I had such grand notions back then. The Kinder Science Mini Quick Little Chemist Lab more. Educational Toy for Children. But no, Wendell, we can't possibly put hydrochloric acid into the hands of children. <laughs> the lawyers will never agree. Yeah, we can't do that. What are you doing? <laughs> it's a good thing I never told them about the Bunsen burners. That Arminant has been using my toy pieces in this way. Hmm. I digress. The lab network is now up and running in the backyard. I'm planning to dedicate each one of them to a different function. Main power will run through here, the Oak Lab is the center of operations for the backyard. The second lab is nestled into the hedge. Such wonderful views from up there. Nice. Side note, I'm worried that Ominent's shoddy manufacturing of the lab pieces will cause them to fall apart over time, but they will do for now. Okay. Do we have any quests? Ah, you have found a yoked earth milk molar calcium chewable. So fan powder has to grow. Right, get, get yoked. Now we need to go and grab ourselves uh, a better mashing tool, unfortunately. Good morning! How can I help you today? Ask away, my friend! Ooh, questions. Here we go. Tell me about yourself. A question about me? I'm flattered! Oh my good gracious, look at how many questions we can... What is the point of you? Wow, that is brutal. Um, yeah. Consuming raw or undercooked meats may increase your risk of foodborne illness, especially if you have certain medical conditions. Makes sense. Medium rare. Ah. Oh. Good call. Medium, if you must. But if you request well done, I will show you the truth behind my grilling function. Ah, Burl, you understand. 
Good man. Robot. Uh, yeah, he's got a mustache. Good man. Good man indeed. Do, do you need to wear a um, a hairnet around this glorious mustache of yours whenever you're cooking? Just to make sure it doesn't fall off. Because with the way it swivels around, it looks like it might actually fall off. Cooking. Flipping. Grilling. All right. Main operating procedures. Okay. Uh, isn't cooking and grilling redundant? Oh, don't say that. He's going to get real grumpy. Everyone's a critic. Yeah, there he is. I have been adapting my functionality with the assistance of Dr. Tully. I am also trained in organization, data science, and mustache grooming. Ah, there we go. <laughs> the grooming of his mustache. Though I suspect you will not be needing the latter for a year or two. <laughs> oh, don't you laugh at me. You never know. Dr. Tully, while he was working on designs for an automated burger restaurant to be licensed to Roby's Bubba Burgers. What happened? There were 14 other burgle prototypes created, but alas, I am the only one who remains. Hmm, why? The others were all scrapped. Ah, I see. Uh, what is the point of you? That just sounds so rude. I am the last existing burger lad, Mark IV, created by D -D Dr. Tully. Since mm. his disappearance, I have been continuing his research and experiments. Burger Lad, aka Burgle. I got it. All right, Burgle. I am a f fully functional research assistant. I can answer science questions as well as assign tasks for you to complete. Yes, assign me tasks. Every day I will have a number of t tasks for you, my budding science assistant, to complete. Okay. Finish them and I will reward you for your hard work. Okay. Just do not mention anything to OSHA. The last thing I need is another investigation into underage labor practices. Okay, so we're most definitely in the United States, then. How can I help you today? Bye. Please come again soon. Bye. Uh -huh. All right. Uh, survival, spend raw science as a science lab. I don't know where we... Ah, there. Okay, we spend it here, I guess. Retrieve the super disc for Burgle and locate the hedge. Science shop quest. This is where it is. Okay, Burgle quests. Burgle quests. Explore Toad Swamp. Okay. Uh, complete trail marker at Toad Swamp. Great Oak Beacon. Slime Mold Torch. Craft a Slime Mold Torch. Yeah, we'll definitely do this one. I'll accept that. We, we can make one. We have what we need to make that. Um, these ones require to, us to explore. I don't think we're going to do these quite yet. All right, the smithing station. Oh. Whoa, okay, we don't even know what this is. Workstation to upgrade weapons with various materials. Brittle whetstone, brittle whetstone used to upgrade weapons. Brittle plating, upgrading armors. Cooking 101, oh my goodness. Yeah, we don't know how to make any of this stuff. Mite loaf, we can make mite loaf. We have everything we need for that. Let me go get grubs for this one. But we don't have the sacks, the clay, whatever that is. Some sort of wood thing and goop? I'm not sure. Multi-story base. Grass half floor, grass floors. Oh my goodness, triangle floors. Yes, now we're talking. Sprig railing, acorn railing, grass stairs. Cost us a thousand science. This is totally worth it. Acorn spiral stairs. We have to find out what this is. Clover roof. Uh, roof corner. Roof square corner. Clover flat have roof peak. Nice oh my good gracious. Acorn stairs. Half corner stairs. Grass. Grass valley. A solid wall that can keep can insects out. When you can do it the Roby's way. Put your cares away and have an exponentially great day. Like, <laughs> good gracious. The solve all the keeps them out. It uh, can be attacked, uh, damaged by attackers. Okay, so I guess it's like a window? Log Valley? I'm not too sure what the valley is. Oh, this seems so important. We should do all oh, these pebble foundations. Fortified bases. Stem pillar. Ah, it's a stem. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Torch upgrade. Torch plus. A torch can be improved by the power of science. Will light your way for a very long time. These are all things we can use. Jeez, look at how much science we need for this. Meat shield. 
Deciphered secret meat knowledge from the chip that gives you the old razzle dazzle with his clamp and spatula combo. The tenderizing works you out on a molecular on a molecular level and unlocks a new mutation to increase maximum health. What? Okay. Science cover. Okay. Interesting. Recommended choices are these two. Yes, yeah, that makes sense. We don't have what we need to make those though. We're gonna get the multi-story base for now. I'm gonna buy that. So actually build a base. Let's grab the um, smithy wall right at it too. It looks like that's important. We'll buy that as well. We have to figure out what this is. I'm not sure what it is. We'll have to figure out that. I don't even know this is a stem. It's just the cookery is going to be a while for us to get it. Let's hold on to the rest of our science for right now. Alright, craft a slime torch. We can get that done. Oh, brittle plating is what we need. Processing. Which you need from brittle marble shard. Okay. We need brittle plating to make the station. But it means we need to get a marble shard. But for a marble shard, we're going to need a sturdier hammer. So we need a better busting weapon. I need a better busting tool. Okay, we'll have to look into that. Why do it your way when you can do it the Roby's way? Put your cares mm -hmm. away and have an exponentially great day. All right. Uh, oh, we need to go and make our shoes, too. Can we craft our shoes here? Or do I need to run back and make the shoes? All right, we need to go run back. We need to run back before these expire. We'll head on back as quick as we can, get our shoes so we can run faster, get the quickness, a little bit of armor. Um, but... Any tools? Torch? Slime will torch. I don't have any stock. Sorry. Let's head back. Oh, I guess all the things are just unlocked. Amazing. We can actually build a base now. I love it. Oh my king! <laughs> Look at how many new ideas we gained. We can do so much building now. That is huge. I'm excited to build a base. Right, I don't know where the hedge is. Ah, it's down here. Okay, so that's the hedge. Alright, so we're gonna head ourselves back from here back to base. Let's get ourselves back over to base. Uh, is there anything I can... So that's the quick way back here. Perfect. Doesn't look like I can get down there. Alright. Let's head on back. What time is it? 5 a.m. Perfect. We've made it through the night. We're gonna ignore that aphid. We're just gonna head on straight back. And again, I'm thinking it might be kind of cool to build a base over here by the water. I mean, we might need to build a couple of bases, but holy jeez. Okay, I thought this area was going to be safe because there was going to be no spiders over here. But never mind, there are some roaming spiders over by the water. Okay, well, darn. I was like, oh, we should hang out over here. It feels really safe. Maybe these are the grubs. I don't know how to get them. Maybe those are the grubs that are running around in there. Oh my goodness, it's literally five meters away. <laughs> They're six meters away. Oh my goodness, this is like right there, but it looks really far away. Uh -huh. Bunch of gnats. Oh, look at all the gnats. We're definitely going to go back for that. Definitely want to go back for those gnats. Whoa! Ghost. Oh, run! I need more stamina. Give me more stamina. Give me more stamina back. Oh, don't stop running. <laughs> there were spiders in here at one point, which is a little nerve-wracking. Let's go this way. Yikes. That spider was either on us or didn't pay attention and was just following the path. Either way, not happy it was coming at me. Oh, what was that? I don't know what that pop-up means. 
Oh. Oh, I discovered the field station. Oh, there's a field station right here. That is a big spider. Ooh. I don't think I'm high enough level to take on such a foe. Oh, jeez, run. I can't run between these. Oh, another one! <laughs> Get through it. Run! Oh man, I don't have a look over my shoulder button. I wish I did. Dodge and weave! Dodge and weave! Oh my goodness, run! Nope, he's on us. He's still on us. Keep running. We're almost back home. Oh my gracious, that was terrifying. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that makes sense we get caught in the, in the spider webs. At least I knew where I was going. Oh my goodness, at least I didn't get lost in panicking. It's over here. Alright, home sweet home, we made it. Oof! Jeez. Okay, yeah. The spiders are not nice. Yeah. Saw that coming. You're back? Kibi, you made it just in time to miss us running for our absolute life from the spiders. We were... It was, it was quite terrifying. But we made it out alive. Alright, let's make these slippers. Crack these slippers. Bam, slippers acquired. A little safer now. Quickness. The quickness. Run faster. Light armor. Slight stamina increase. Oh. Required to swing weapons. Interesting. Okay, that makes sense. And fuller. Stay full longer. Nice. Been there more than you like. Very awesome when they spawn near your base. Oh, jeez, I bet. <laughs> it's like, oh, good morning, sunshine. There's a spider in your base. So that's our food basket. This is our plant basket. All those off. And then this is our bug basket. A rock basket. Um I don't know where we want to put sap. It won't quite fit in there, it's kind of full. So I guess we'll put sap in here. more for snacks. Yeah. Oh! Okay. Right where I left you. Um. Whoops. I hit the R button instead of the E button. That's, um... Alright, do not hold a weapon in hand. I've learned my lesson. Oh, I got the coffee button too. So good. Okay. Let's try it again. I also keep these. Perfect. Sort, sort, and sort. Alright. Oof! <laughs> Mistakes were made. Yeah, we're still, we're still calming down from that run, right? Gotta figure out where grubs are. Next part for our tech tree. Although we could... We could move over to Acorn. It's heavy armor, though. Major threat. I don't know what major threat does. Maybe we scare people off? Major threat. Man, you can't see anything. There's only one hole for your eye. Data? Where was it where I could see what the different things mean? Okay. Um. Hmm. 
I just need a smithing. So we gotta get a smithing station going. But for that, we need to make better tools. So I think we just need to science up to the next level. Which we're, wow, we're a ways away from. We need 90. We need 90 new items. The science up. Hmm. Wait, why are these shin guards in here? Ah, they're replaced from our slippers, I guess? Feel a little less squishy now. Yeah, the same armor amount. One just makes it so we're less hungry, one makes us run faster. We'll go run faster. That just seems like a smarter thing for us to go for. We get some water. Yeah, we gotta go find a grub. Grubs seem to be super important. Water filtration tablets needed. Bam. Water acquired. At some point we're gonna want to move everything here to some base location, although over here seems to be pretty safe. It's a little more bumpy than I'd like it to be. I want to find a nice flat spot for us to build in. I'd also like to upgrade our weapon. I really want to get a bigger weapon. Or a stronger one at the very least. It does more damage. Aww, poor guy's got allergies. Goes to press level 2. Wait, what happened to our axe? Did our axe break at some point? <laughs> did I not notice it breaking? Or did I throw it during our panic? I don't remember. Uh, tools. Couple axe. Crap. New couple axe acquired. I don't know where it went. <laughs> we just don't have it anymore. Alright, we need to do some more exploring and try and find some more items for us to science. Or oh, wait, hold on a second. Or we can do quests, of course. I don't I don't like these ants. I'm always on edge. I wanna get some of the I wanna get some of the mandibles though. with the spider. Right, we'll go back to base. We'll go back. Let's go and make that little, um, whatchamacallit thing. The, uh, the torch, which was for the quest. This guy. There we go. 250 raw science. Wow, that's a lot of science. <laughs> oh, but we get raw science, but it doesn't go to brain power. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, I see. Darn. Oh no, we have two of them. Oh no, it's just the one that I had in my inventory. Okay, I keep forgetting it here. I keep forgetting this. This isn't an inventory slot. There we go. Sorted. Um. So we got a bunch of raw science, so we can go and learn more stuff if we wanted to buy more stuff to learn. But the main thing is I just need to go find items for us to go and learn off of. So let's go to see if we can figure out what to do with this thistle. See if we can knock him down. Looks like maybe that's where we get to shoot from. A gnat. God, I swear these gnats have heat sense. Ah! We gotta go get some gnats. Gotta go get an ad or two. Ideally, we get him with a spear throw. I imagine doing some more damage to the rock. Right? Damage like nothing. That's only a like double. We need to, we have to hit him three times. Yeah, Here comes another homing gnat. Oh my goodness, is that a bee? It's a bee. Ah! Can't hit him. Alright. See, is can I knock this down? The dandelion? 
Yeah, we can. Perfect. Get this thing down here. Alright, what do we get from this? Weed stems. One long schnoz built for sniffing. These. Tufts. You pick the damn line tough. Equipping your accessory, then you can press the glide button when in the air. What? Well, that's pretty sick. I was hoping for some thistle, uh, like, but, uh, oh, that's fine. Alright, we can go and we can explore these two items. Get some learning on. And a lot of stuff for building actually requires these shoots. This is good. I haven't got them. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I threw them instead of dropping them. I, I, I hit R instead of G. Okay. Yeah, haul one of them with us. Come here. Analyze. Common item. Science. Oh my goodness. Stem walls, doors, trying. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Eight side table or grass side table, nice. Door frame, sturdy door. Beautiful. Still need a lot more. Much more science still required. But we found shoots, so we know how to make those. That's good. Oh, I can't do it with the dandelion tough. Fine. What else can we go grab? dried leaves. Can't hit these guys until we get a better tool. That's still good. Ooh, is there anything up on top of this ball? No. They're knocking that down. Oh. Can I knock this down? Ah. Husky weed. We gotta get better tools. We just need to get to tier two tools. What is this? Oh, it's a rake. Whoa, okay. Look at that thing. The ladybug's got a whole bunch of fungus on it. Check this out. Can we harvest what's on the ladybug? Can I get across this ravine? What is, is this place? Yeah, that's where the rake is. Hmm. Oh, don't forget to put the tough on. Good call, good call. Nice. Threat detected. Oh my goodness. I saw on the bottom left there, threat detected. I did not see the might. Oh my goodness, jeez. All right, Johnny, thanks for the good, good call there. Thanks for the reminder. Although I don't know how to activate the uh, left shift. Might up ahead. The goblin of the backyard. Oh, you whipped you me. Does in the air. You're attacking. I keep jumping in front of us. Oh! <laughs> They're like, they're like head crabs. Would you look at that? What are you? What are you? Infected larva. Oh, jeez. Okay. It just one shot us. <laughs> uh. Ow. Go back and get our stuff. Oof, okay, so we are playing- I was gonna say, we're playing on the wax of difficulty, but it doesn't feel that hard. Some of these- some of these things with mandibles hurt very much. So I think we're gonna- we might want to swap over to acorn equipment. So this larva here has fungus growing on it, which makes me feel like it's the, um... It's like the mind control fungus. They, like, take over ant colonies. Oh my god, I lost you. Bird up there. Threat detected. 
I mean, the little breathtaking thing at the bottom is really nice. Infected neck. Alright, mister. I can't stop moving with you following me. Infected neck. Looks dangerous. What the? Give me that. Why did I lose it? Is that from the gnat? Fungal growth. Okay. Wow, that does not heal as much at all, does it? <laughs> Jeez, that does not heal as much at all. But we found a fungal growth. Found a new thing. Our health is not great, and our armor is starting to take some serious damage. That's a stink bug. Whatever I saw one. Ink cans. Maybe what we might want to do is we might want to grab more spears and start chucking more spears, you know? Raw science, unsafe for consumption, side effects may include, but not limited to, increased intelligence, better understanding of your actions, reduced empathy, reduced sanity, increased anxiety, increased depression, sudden interest in activities that make you smarter. Learning scientific terms, loneliness, scientific discoveries. It's true. I don't know how much we want to stick around with the, the whole science discovery thing. At least healing is uh, passive. Oh, it's a bombardier part. Ooh. I thought it was a stink, but it is a bombardier. That's okay. So that's we've got two new things here. We can go ahead and get some science on. So let's go ahead and get some science. Disturb the mites, no bite. Bye, mites. Don't mind me, I'm just running through. Don't mind me. We're just heading home. We went right past our house. But now I actually want to see what these are. What are these? Can I cut these down? Hello. Can I cut these down? What is this? Doesn't look like I can cut it down. No, can't cut it. Hmm. Hey, Fid. Good old Aphids. Alright. We want to go this way. Is that a hot dog? Woo, there's a bunch of ants over here. Ah, I'm backing off, I'm backing off. Blank. We're way off course. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> way off course. All this stuff's new here. We wanna go back to that field station. Get some science going. I'm hoping if we get I'm hoping if we get to the next level of science, we can go and get a new level of destructible equipment. You know? Blaster open. Let's go. Big hits. Oh my good gracious. <laughs> Ready. Jeez. I'm just over here minding my own business, mister. I heard him, so I just immediately attacked in that direction. We probably have plenty of staff. We probably don't need to carry anymore. Oh, this is noxious. It's not good for our health. Let's get back home here. No, I went right past the... I'm going in circles, aren't I? Alright. I got lost. It's okay. We're back on track. We're back on track. We know where we're going. I'm gonna run past all these. The problem is the moment I start fighting the mites. Oh my goodness, they're everywhere! Oh, I'm stuck. There we go. I want to stop when I start fighting the mites is when I end up in trouble. 
Okay, so this was the correct direction. I just went right. I should have gone left. Oop. Left was the correct direction. Right was the wrong direction. Yeah, it's the right way back home. Need some food, buddy. Sorry, weevil friend, but I need you. There's the ball. Homeward bound. You sure you're not lost still? Yeah, no, no. We know what we know. Yeah. We figured it out. All right. Science. Analyze. Science. Hmm. Crap first infected mounts. We can make an infected version of every animal. Yikes. <laughs> Old spiders. Ooh. Gross. How's it going, Make Reservist? How are you doing today? Good to see you. An insect axe! Yes! That's what we were looking for. A jerky rack and a stuffed bombardier. But an insect axe. Okay, now we're talking. How much do we need to make the insect axe? More than one part, or, or what? Insect axe. Insect axe, here we go. A ladybug head, three bombardier parts, and silk rope. Oh, no. Ah, oh, man. Okay. All right. So, tier two. <laughs> I wanted to get to tier two. We have to go get silk rope. There, I have to sort that out. We also have to kill a ladybug. All right, what we're going to do then... We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and craft a couple of these spears. They stack. They do not stack, do they? Does he have three? But I don't see two in here. Oh, one's equipped here. Okay, I see. We can't in main hand. I see. Make two more two more spears. Okay, we have five spears. We can start throwing them. That'll be good. Kind of late at night. We should. Probably focus on eating and drinking and then going to bed and then tackling some big em enemies in the morning. We're gonna go and hunt a ladybug tomorrow. Let's do that. Really gotta sort out water. There's a water collector or something that we got, right? No, it was a sap collector that we got. We'll take stock of our of our scientific knowledge in a moment here. Don't even need to boil it. One and two. Yep. Okay. Hey, Fid. He escaped us this time. It's cooking. Escape is so fast. <laughs> They're so fast. Oh my goodness. Alright, so I guess recycle is what lets us break down our camp when we move. Which we will be moving at some point. Hey! Hey! You had a little bandit icon over your head. You had a bandit icon over your head. I bet you were stealing my food, you monster. Don't you, don't you try and insult me. Where did I just throw my... There's a little bandit icon over him. Do they steal your food? Did I understand that right? Just close your eyes and imagine it's a fruit pounder. Did I, did I understand that right? I'm about to eat and drink right before sleeping. You wake up at the same level each morning. Wait, really? Wow, that's not like any survival game I've played before. Every survival game I play is like, you better eat and drink before you go to bed or else you die in the middle of the night. That's convenient. Oh, we can buy signs from here. Cool, we don't have to go back to them. Excellent, okay. We can grab all these later. We can also grab quests here, too. Nice. 
That's just for that's just for raw science to buy the stuff from him, which we don't need right now. Yes, the rock uh, the ants can rob, but oh, man, okay. So at least not at least I did react properly. The moment I saw it, I was like, oh, defend my stuff. All right, so our goal is going to be this insect axe. That's our goal. Sleep till morning. So we need to get more bombardier parts, a ladybug head, and spider silk. So that is our goal today. Hot deposit. Wait, no, no, look, my uh, my water and food are down. No, oh, it looks like it used our water and food while we were sleeping. This box is full. Nope. I have to do it for each box, I see. Okay. Alright. Perfect. So we've got what we need. Let's go ahead and let's uh, grab out of grab out of here. And stack of rocks. Oh, there's our axe. Alright, I'm not crazy. We did have two axes. Well, we got two axes now. I guess we can I guess we can throw them if we're in a in a pickle. Um what do we need to do to craft ourselves? Let's go get a couple of these bandages on hand. Guess I don't have to put it in my inventory, do I? Inventory. John six. All right. Food and water. First objectives of the morning. Ephid. Can't wait until we get to a new way to get water. I mean, it's useful we can do it this way, it's just save us time. Man, we have such an arm. Oh, didn't work. There we go. Full water, time for food. Where or where is something we can hunt? Ants don't give us what I'm looking for. Go for an aphid. You have three heart bars? Yeah, we can switch between them two. Yeah, I accidentally, uh... I accidentally found that out. At one point I was like, wait, where'd all my stuff go? Where'd my inventory go? I keep fighting. Something. Um, yeah, when I was running at one point, I accidentally, uh, while sprinting, hit the scroll wheel. Okay. Oh my good gracious. Okay. It has a lot of health. Can you get up here? Oh. Eat spears. Oh, jeez. I was not expecting that. I didn't think it was going to hit us from there. Okay, I really want to get a bow badly. Ow. Man, these, uh, these bandages help us, like, not at all. I was really hoping this was going to work a whole lot better. <laughs> This is not working well at all. Oh my goodness, that's a good player anyway. How are you doing today? Hopefully you're doing better than we are. I lost one spear. That's fine. I don't know, there it is. Way over here somehow. Yeah, okay. That thing has way too much health and hits us way too hard. We're gonna need a better weapon to go try and take that one out. Or 
better tactics. So I think the main thing I need to do is I need to track down a thistle. I need to go adventure. We're gonna take track down a thistle. Bow time, yeah, exactly right. If we can get a thistle bow going. Like, oh, we need the net. Come on. Hey. Yes. Yes. Oh, okay, we got enough net fuzz. We can make the bow now. The bow can now be made. Thistles are that way. <laughs> Points left and right at the same time. Perfect. I don't know. Let me let me bumble around and find it. Let me bumble around and find it. This is we got dandelions over here. Mm. Are you? No water filtration tablets needed. Oh, you're just murdering gnats for, like, no good reason? Oh, jeez. I thought he was gonna attack me. No! No, he's called in a friend! Don't you tag team me! Come on, now. Okay, we gotta go. I thought he was gonna attack me because I stole his food. Uh oh He's right behind us. I hear him. Running! <laughs> no! We need more stamina. Oh, I keep getting caught on blades of grass. But I think we're safe. I think we got away with the food. Just those guys just come right up to our face. It just makes you really nervous. So I attack more out of instinct than anything else, really. Let's head back. Okay. <laughs> yeah. He's attacking us now, doing that. Yep. Let's get our weevils cooked. And heal up. Pointy leaves. Okay, I'll keep an eye out. Yeah, I'd... let me let me bumble around for the rest of it and see if I can find it on my own. Yeah, we can get a we can start upgrading our tools. Start pulling ourselves into the next level here. A little chewy, but munch, not munch, bad. munch. Munch, munch, munch. Back to pull well, almost. Alright, and we still have the uh, the gnat meat on us too, just in case. Let's see here. What do we want to do? Let's go ahead and let's make that bow real quick. Those. There we go. Bow acquired. Oh, we just need the thistles. I'm sure we can't science the bow, right? Can't science the bow. Look here for now. I'm just gonna get arrows. Alright, as soon as we get arrows, we're good to go. Let's look for some plants that we haven't played with before. Really could use a better viewpoint. It's the ant hill. We don't want to mess with them. We'll shoot this way. These are all dandelions. The leaves, not thorns. Bugs, bunch of gnats. Where am I going right now? Jeez, hmm. I do not want to mess with whatever that is. Back into gas again. Steal some free parts. 
I need to get a gas mask going. What do you need for gas masks? We need stink bug parts, and we're gonna need to get four more gnat parts. After that, we'll have everything we need. What the? Bumblebee, okay. <laughs> we just saw the shadow, and I'm like, oh jeez, I'm dead. Bumblebee, they shouldn't be bugging me unless I bug them. These? That's dandelion. We get needles off of dandelions? I mean, dandelions are technically a thistle. Have been skinning bugs? Oh, I haven't. Good call. Good call. Dandelions are technically thistles. Technically. They don't drop any thistle thorns. I need to find something else. Yeah, we need to be peeping at things. Sure holding my hands to my face makes me see any better than with my glasses. <laughs> Look at that gnat. Look at that bee go. So have to be closer. That big bug right there. Eat me one for the beast, Jerry. That's the stink bug. Weakness is stabbing and fresh. <laughs> Quick, hit him with an air freshener. Stabbing and spicy. Weak points are the eyes. Okay, so specifically go for the eyes. Okay, it's good to know. Oh, we can actually headshot stuff. That's actually a thing in this game. Let me get one of these gnats or bees over here. But we do need stink bug parts. Smell. Oh, keeping clear of this one. Yeah, I don't know if we want to go bug them yet. Bees. Spider. Location marked. Oh, don't mark that. I'll get rid of the mark. Oh, wait, wait, there we go. Weakness is chopping, slashing, and spicing. This is into stabbing and fresh. Okay. We'll have to figure out what fresh means. Fresh seems to be pretty powerful right now. Oh, fresh might be like bug spray or something. The chopping, fresh, snatching, there's to bursting. Hmm. Oh my goodness, there's a gnome! Sure it's tacky or horrifying. Look at the gnome! This is a nice little spot to build a base, too. In the middle of the like this little uh, pondy area here. Yeah, at some point we're gonna have to find a place we want to build a base at. <laughs> you are far from home. Tread carefully. Oh yeah, there's clay over here. So actually, we can make a shovel, can't we? We got the acorn shells. I do wish the music would keep going when we end up in the uh, in the menu here. Yeah, we can start getting some clay. I'm wondering what that is. I feel like those might be the grubs. Maybe I need the shovel to get them. We should go back home and pick up the shovel. We should head home and get the shovel. I 
Okay, so there's grubs down here. Oh no, it's just a, a little nest. Or a little dead end for us. That didn't do anything. Ooh! Back to the pond. There's anything we can do with the cattails here. With the lilies. Hmm. I don't want to keep exploring, but I think it's just going to get more and more dangerous the further out I go. I just feel like it's just going to be more dangerous the further we go. Aphid. No! No, that aphid knocked me into the hole! Stopped me from making a jump. Oh, there's a stink bug. So he does make the stink clouds. Those guys are actually quite dangerous, then. Hit with bio damage if we get too close to them. That blur effect is quite wild. I was looking at that uh, effect at the very start here, which is what was in... Display? Motion blur, field of view, rendered. There's some around here. There is a, a blur effect. Travel is fine. Gotta be in display, right? Yeah, depth of field blur effect. We'll put that on low. Um, yeah, apply this. Yes, that blur effect is no, is now gone. Or no, not really. We sprint a little bit, and I look off in the distance, and then it comes into focus. Leave it on low. Leave it on low. I'm just helping a little more visibility as we're running. A little pond skimmer. Uh, you know what? We're going to put that back on medium. It makes the world feel bigger. Or maybe I'm just in a place where I have so much view all of a sudden it makes the world feel smaller. That might be it. We'll leave it where it was, it's fine. Now they're just farting, that's all? <laughs> I don't know. Hydrate you got. There's not much over here for us, huh? We have to climb up to the next section. I knock down this plant, what is this? Nectar? Oh. Snack, drinkable, nice. Okay. Well, we'll hold on to this and we'll do some science on it. Yeah, I'll take all that. Oh man, our pants are almost broken. Or rather, our shoes. We're gonna have to get in two new aphids. It took too much damage. Oh, jeez. Those are... What are those? Mosquitoes? Oh, that's terrifying. Yeah, I don't want to fight those. But I also kind of want to finish our, our lap around the pond here. Oh, yeah, Pete. Good call. Good call. I spy map marker placed. Nope, don't do that. Got one. Chopping, slashing, crash, and bursting. Chopping is what they're weak to. I swear they're gonna get us murdered. I don't want to try and take one on. Well, I got my wish. Okay, too much help. Nope, too much help. <laughs> what? Gracious. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I should not have done that. That was a mistake. Especially because our body's over here. Yeah, big, big dead. Okay, I need to, I need to understand. Place waypoint. 
I need to understand that I am very fragile, and uh, I don't have... Oh, I actually don't need a waypoint. That's right, it shows a, a marker. Can I hit remove waypoint? Where's this place need waypoint? waypoint there. Remind yourself <laughs> that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Yeah, the problem is, like, between fighting, like, some of the, uh, the ants and then fighting the... Um, you know, it's like killing the gnats and the aphids and whatnot. I feel, I feel very powerful. I am not very powerful in this game, am I? Let's run back, grab our stuff. Get out of here. There's a spider over there. Try and shortcut through that spider web, but I don't really want to do that. Remember what Burgle, uh, remember when Burgle laughed maniacally? Yeah, I do. Yeah, we're, we're, uh, quite fragile, unfortunately. Oh, I picked the wrong route. I don't have enough stamina. Stamina. Nope. My head, I'm too tall. Why can't we duck underneath these while running, please? Alright, we're fine. We're good now. I think we're good. I think it's still following us. But I think we're good. Cover for me, Aphid. Cover for me. Oof. <laughs> Took the wrong turn there. I was like, this will work. Nope. Yeah, getting across there is tough, the spiders. Somewhere we'll go. A lot more. If we lose all of our stuff there, it's not that bad. I do want to get that uh, not an ambush. I want to get the nectar back. For science. And there are aphids everywhere. I'm tempted to try and swim across, but I'm like, I think that's a bad idea. I think swimming across is probably a worse idea than anything else we've done so far. I have no idea what's in the water. Probably know there could be fish in there. This is a backyard after all. A good amount of ape and honeydew, though. That's good. One day we'll be strong enough. One day we'll be powerful. Think. Oh, we can't actually run all the way around, can we? I thought we could. That's why I was continuing to go that direction. Well, that was a mistake. We have to go all the other way around. <laughs> don't drink nectar, give science. Yeah. Oh, you don't think nectar gives science. That's unfortunate. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's tadpoles! Okay, yeah, we can't go in there. Tadpoles eat tiny fish. or tiny baby fish. Like us. <laughs> Swim across? Are you sure? There's tadpoles in there. That seems like a really bad idea. There's tadpoles, I bet there's other fish in there. I bet there's other fish. Tadpoles are like ants. They don't attack unless we attack them. Hmm. Oh, we are finding a lot of aphid honeydew here, though. It's really nice. Oh! We need, we need more aphids. Oh man, I just need more stamina. <laughs> I burned through my stamina like crazy. We have a lot of stamina for just running, but the moment I wanted to make an attack in there... Oh, I gotta be more accurate too. You know, we can make it to there. I don't know if I can make that jump. 
If I can make it to that, I can climb up that and then go across. It'd be less time in the water. Oh, I can't quite make that jump. No, oh, get out! Get out! <laughs> It's gonna be a super quick swim. Oh, maybe not even. It's making that noise. I don't know what's making that noise, it's making me nervous. But that's where I need to get to, right there. I don't know if I wanna see what that is. All right, perfect, barely in the water. Good, good. Thank goodness this thing is sitting around here. Oof. What was the tadpole making that noise? Okay, jeez. It's like this cute cooing noise that I'm just like, that's definitely supposed to lull me into a false sense of security, isn't it? <laughs> There's no way that thing is going to be uh, kind. I'm going to knock this thing down. What is this? This isn't a dandelion. What is this? It's a dandelion. Just a different flower version of dandelion. What do we get for this? Oh, that's unfortunate. It went in the water. What is this? Pollen? Oh, pollen. Okay. Things for science. All right, one meter away. Goodness. <laughs> it looks like we're running really hard, but we just... We're so tiny, we move so slowly. Oh my goodness, it actually is full of blood from when it killed us. Look at that. Right where I left you. Its butt is full of red. <laughs> Terrifying. We're out of here. I'm going the other way. Actually, we might just go back the way we just came from. Alright, so I think maybe we need to go to the hedge. Oh, claw bugs. Firefly. Nature's lantern. Weakness is stabbing. They're tier two. Oh, how hostile they are. I don't want to get him. Get him? I don't want to get him. Oh. <laughs> the worst throw. <laughs> what the? What was that? Oh my god. Okay. I think I just can't fight anything here. I need to... Okay, we're going to wait till morning. We're going to go and grab our stuff. We did decently, though. We got into half health. If I brought another five spears with me, we had them. If I brought another five spears with me, we had them. So clearly my issue is I just don't have enough spears. I just need more spears. You, know, you could respawn at the closest field station instead of all the way from base. Uh, I don't know where the field station exactly is that we'd be jumping in from, so I'm just jumping back from base. And besides, one of the nice things about coming back from base is I'm starting to better mentally map the zone. So I'll be able to get from point A to point B and figure out where the enemies are and how to navigate around a little better. I wanted to go get that science, but I don't want to deal with that spider right now. Come back for that science later. Okay, so can I just like steal this? I just want to see if I can steal a little bit of webbing. Hello, little aphid. Steal just some webbing. Yes, okay, we can. 
Learning. There's a little guy. He's freaking out like crazy. I want to grab our current stuff before I go and fight him, but I think I feel pretty strong having a bunch of spears now. This is game being mean to you. Oh, I'm reading chat at the wrong time. Is this chat being is this game being mean to you? Not really. I think I'm just being overconfident is my real problem. I think the real problem is I'm I'm being too overconfident for oh no, it turned around at the wrong time. Oh, there's a there's a field thing here. Can I hide in here? Don't you do it. Okay, we can stay. We can hide in here. Cool. Alright, local fauna report. Poor Sarah, with her little red bite mark. If she hadn't come to me, I wouldn't have even known. Oh, uh, oh, her, uh, oh, her sad eyes as she scuttled over, coddling her little arm. Daddy, daddy, there's something nasty in the roots of the oak tree, she whimpered. The tangle's much too small to be explored by a full man. Begged to, uh, begged to investigation. Wait. Begged to investigation in small form. Ah. That sentence now makes sense. But why did I go tonight? In the dark. Why did I choose a creepy, foggy backdrop to see what I just saw? Oh my goodness. And what is that? What is this feeling that I feel now? Other than my heart still racing. I feel beyond. Erector. Pelly? What? Turning my skin to that of a goose. Ah. That's when all your hair stands on end. <laughs> beyond raising my hair. Or a shiver down my spine. It's more like my skin was resigned to the thought of being removed, and the meat beneath that cowers in fear of being exposed to the crisp bottom air. The meat pulls my jeez, what are we what are you writing, man? The meat pulls my skin tight, like a cowering child under a blanket, hiding from ghosts and werewolves at the edge of the bed. The bones feel sorry for the meat. For the cold winds would be so brief, like a worm stuck from a hook. Uh, sucked from a hook. It would uh, all vanish into that drooling maw in the blink of an eye. And then my own unblinking eyes would rattle in the dark little sockets above my shivering jaw. A quivering stack of brittle bones collapsed, collapses and shatters the howling breeze. The feeling is terror, I guess. But what can one do? Like the gray wolves of Yellowstone, those apex predators are an essential cog in a well-oiled machine. Remove the wolves, the elk run wild, strip the land. It's true, they did. That's why they reintroduced wolves into Yellowstone. Goodbye, Flora. Turn. Uh, goodbye, Flora. Turns into goodbye, Fauna. One simple change can disrupt an entire ecosystem. Just leave them just leave them alone, and they'll leave you alone, right? Maybe. Drink or die. Um, I don't wrong button. I don't have any water, do I? No, I don't. Drink or die. Okay, we're we're in drink or die mode then. Let's just analyze this super quick. Nice! Silk basketball hoop and scaring spider. Perfect done. We gotta go. Oh, we actually are on a timer. 60 seconds is actually a timer. I'm used to games being like, and your total health pool is decreasing. Choke it down, Pete. Okay. Let's get some ape and honeydew. Whew. All right, we'll survive. Uh, we'll jump across the same way we did last time. Maybe the only player you've seen to get into the text and dialogue? Really? Oh man, I, I'm, I love story. I think we can actually make it across these little pads here. We can make it across these little pads. Let's little pad across. Actually, let's jump into this can first. Probably get some more water in here. Or maybe some beer. Calv uh, Calvo can. 
whoop. That's all nasty water in here. Hoping for something a little, uh, a little tastier. No one left a single drop for us. Not one. Okay, how does this... Uh, I tried to use the left shift button for the dandelion thing. How does this thing work? Maybe it's working and I'm not noticing. Let's go third person here. Yeah, because it is being used. There it is. Okay. Once I'm fully in the air, then I use it. Okay. Gotcha. Can I harvest this? Is this a harvestable thing? Lily flower is not a thing. Right. Again, so you just hear them all over the place. Holy. <laughs> What was that? Oh man, I am terrified. Huh. I'm listening really intently. Ooh, I don't like that sound. Oh, it's a fish. Okay. Oh, it's only a fish. It's not a turtle. <laughs> that was your stomach. <laughs> oh, it's a fish. Looks like a koi. And now your don't be koi joke makes a lot of sense. I understand. I thought you were being facetious. Yeah, there's actually a koi here. We're gonna have to drink water again in a minute. Uh, we got nectar on the other side we can drink. Here's something to drink. Yeah, we got two minutes. It's fine, Pete. You'll be fine. We'll grab nectar from our pockets that we left over here. We're gonna have to get new armor. Our armor is broken. I think we're gonna upgrade to the acorn armor, I think. It will slow us down. We'll be able to stab less. But I think it's gonna be worth it. It's gonna be worth it. Spear at nine spears. Ten spears. Eleven spears. I thought I lost you. Better than starving, I think. What is that icon? Weird. What are those about? All right, I've got eleven spears. I feel pretty powerful. Really should after dying this many times. What's, what is that icon? The bunny icon that's doing things? I don't know what that is. With all these spears, I just feel so powerful. And I cannot wait until we find a thistle. Oh, that's a thistle! Oh my goodness, we found a thistle! Alright, new objective get that thistle right now. That is a thistle. All right, we're gonna take this thistle. We're going to grind it up into pieces. We're gonna grab the stems and we're gonna build the house out. We're gonna take the thistle, uh, get up on top, please. We're gonna take the thistle thorns and we're gonna turn that into weapons. And we're gonna take the thistle uh, feather, feathers, flowers, and we're gonna turn them into a tea. I don't think you can in this game, but I would love it if we could. Can you purify water in this game? Probably, Critter, I'm not sure. I'm assuming we can. Oh my goodness, we found a thistle. Oh, I'm excited. I'm, gonna keep... hey, <laughs> I'm just gonna keep drinking these. Please, can I knock this thing down? Oh, we just. Oh! We don't knock it down. We just grab them from the bottom of them. Grab the thorns from the base? Like climb this. Yes. 
Yes, we can. Oh my goodness, yes. More. I know my inventory is getting really full. That doesn't matter. We need all of these. Oh, we can climb this. This is so great. Really good design that you can actually just climb it in a spiral. I like it. See, pointy? You're right. Actually, it was the uh, the purple that got me. But I do appreciate the hint being as vague as possible. Because it means I have to go find it on my own. But also means that uh, there's something that might help catch my eye when I'm running around. We're just going to grab every one of these. Let's drop all of our damaged gears. We don't need those. We're gonna have a bow in a second. We don't need this many spears. Woo! Nice. Nice, because I dropped them, they don't count as tracking them uh, for my spears. Alright, we gotta get home right now. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be great. While we're here, get some more acorn. <laughs> Acorn while we're here. Right back in here real quick. Science me this. We'll get to repair those. We will. Alright. Thistle. What can I build? Spike strip. Okay. Oh my goodness. One more. We just need one more. And thankfully... We got it. We got the pollen. We got it. Next level of brain power. Ball and arrow. Shinobi sneeze. What do we get? What do we unlock? Please, something good. A pebble dagger and a gill tube. Okay, we already had these from the acorn. I could use something to drink. That's really good. Okay, so a pebble dagger and a gill tube. Okay, cool. Back to dehydrating again. Worse than my mom's Brussels sprouts. Is it really that bad? Okay. All right. Oh, look at that. Oh. <laughs> Oh my goodness, it's half my health. Can I hide up here? I can. I can't jump, right? Demon. Orb Weaver Jr. Die, health spawn! Yeah, now I feel I feel silly for dropping all of those, huh? Die! <laughs> I'm hitting the rocks, not him. Or uh, I'm hitting my uh, all my spears, not him. Bonk. Bonk. <gasps> He's uh, oh, he gets dazed. So we can. Oh, that's not good. Nope. <laughs> All right, we'll just come back from the uh, from the, from the, speed of the field station here. Uh, okay, I felt pretty good about that though until uh, until I didn't until I realized that the rocks I was throwing was actually not hitting at all. But also, we learned some valuable information there. Valuable information. We learned that you can stun someone with rocks. That's really good to know. I hope all my things are still here. Uh, I think we're just gonna have to leave this. We go ahead and drop spoiled meat. Right where okay. I okay. left. Oh, 
Are you playing on woe or medium? Oh, we're playing on woe. We're playing on woe for sure. But how's it going? Red Hunter, how have you been? How's your day treating you? Oh, we're gonna get home. I'm unfortunately I'm just so overconfident constantly. I've been dying a lot recently. I just I feel powerful and that's clearly an issue. <laughs> but I feel so powerful. Look at me and my eleven spears. Well, it indicates I only have one right now for some. Oh no, seven spears. Look at me, my powerful seven spears. I had 11. I dropped four to get the thistle. Uh, needless. Let's get back to base camp. Should be right over here. Or did I go too far? No, I went too far. It's right over here. Here it is. Bam. Approximately how many hours uh, do you have? We are currently three hours into this game. I am brand new at it. Alright, cook this bad boy up. It's a blind playthrough. I don't know, like, anything about this game. Where's that dagger? Underwater. Uh, okay, lily pad wax. I have to figure that out. Oh. Little big guy. Interesting. A handy tool for harvesting aquatic flor uh, flora for defending your system against underwater aquatic. Oh, not much damage at all. It's fast, though. Mm. Munch, munch, oh. munch. Okay. Let's figure out repairing here. New player on Woe is very strong. Nice. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I, I, we play a lot of survival uh, crafty difficult games, and so I'm just like, it's fine. I can sort it out. A little overconfident with some of these fights, I'm gonna be honest. I'm uh, definitely making it harder than it needs to be. Oop, Gil, what is this? A mouthpiece formed out of eelgrass strands and other hydrophobic materials it creates a thin air pocket that allows for longer underwater breathing. Junior diver. Armor. Interesting, okay. Blue pad wax. Okay, so I don't know where the eelgrass seed is. Well, eelgrass is probably by the water. Lily pads, so we're gonna have to go and check the lily pads. Oh, we couldn't harvest anything from them, but we'll have to sort that out. I'm thinking maybe we swap on over this, but it doesn't give as much armor as I thought. I don't know what major threat means. Hyper stamina, oh, yeah, okay. I'll track down some grubs too soon. Evil meats, okay. Let's at the very least see if we can repair what we have on hand. Are you expecting the spider to lose interest a bit, like in Conan Exiles? Yeah, but it did not. It just just sat there staring at me like, how dare you? My story. Even aphid for this. We can repair that at least. This is what we used to repair. Equip, equip. Okay, so we're gonna need to get ourselves one aphid. Well, I mean, don't mind if I do. If you guys are going to be uh, letting me do some combo damage there. Inventory's full. Hold on a second. Spare weevil meat cooked up here. Go ahead and hot deposits, hot deposits, hot deposits. Now, we go to weapons. Arrows. Crafting many. Whoa, 50. Okay. So, how many arrows do we make from crafting one? 10 for one. Okay. So, five needles, two. So, you kind of times two it. Okay. in a stack. We have two now. Okay. Okay, stack of 20, so we'll keep 20 on this. 
Um, leave the rest here. Put you there going forward. You want rocks. So rocks have a low stun chance. Okay, so the hammer has a high stun chance in comparison. Low stun chance. So wow, we actually managed with this. To stun it. Okay. Okay. So we really shouldn't need to use pebbles anymore now that we have a bow. Nothing to analyze. Okay. That ant go. Okay. Cool. So we can hold our shot by going for a block. Also, we need an acorn shovel. I don't have enough fiber? What? More plant fiber. I am surprised. Right, let's go get that shovel, because we can go get some clay. That'd be useful. So this is used for that insect axe. That's the thing we really want to do. Craft. Unanalyzed. I've got it in my inventory. It is analyzed. What are you talking about? Oh, we need a loom. We need a loom. Where is that? The jerky rack also sounds... Oh my goodness, I need a bunch of bombardier parts. Okay, we're going to have to go track that down. This water collector is something we should make, too. Spinning wheel. We need clay. Oh, perfect. Okay, excellent. We have everything else we need. We just need clay. Perfect. Okay, okay. Excellent, excellent. Craft three of these. When I go over to tools, we'll go ahead and craft ourselves a shovel. Perfect. We now have a shovel. We'll put the shovel right here. Emergency food and emergency uh, wraps here. Oh, well, it recovers health over time. Oh, I, okay, I didn't understand. Didn't understand before. So, yeah, the ape and honeydew, unfortunately, can't use for anything else. Max and heals, large amounts. I'd rather keep using the nectar. Just for now. Let me grab some water here. Um. Go ahead. Organize you. This in here. Fiber in here. This is supposed to be edible foods, so we'll go ahead and we'll... Actually, we'll take that back. We'll put all this in here instead. And we'll use the granola. There we go. Throwing weapons add stun damage. When you get enough stun damage in, they get stunned. Oh, it's a build-up. So it's like a second bar. So it's like a, a stun bar. That's what you're telling me? Is that how that works? Like you fill up a stun bar? I'm right here, I guess. Fungal growth. Fungal growth in here. A tuft in here. We'll keep one spare. We'll go through all these spheres in a moment. Double pebble axe in here for now. Perfect. One long schnoz built for sniffing. All right, buddy, you're our test subject. Oh, jeez. I could use something to drink. Don't do as much damage as I was hoping, but uh, it does look like arrows drop off the uh, body after a bit, so that's good. Now here's the next test. Do arrows work on this? They do. We can get them back. Excellent. I don't have to do that with rocks. Perfect. Okay. 
Some stuff's good for that. Interesting. Okay. Good. Yeah, it's stunning. That stun seemed really, really powerful. We'll need to go grab an ape at some point. Fix our shoes. because that knocks our axe out. Annoying. All right, let's go ahead and we'll sleep till morning. And then let's go get some clay. Sleep till morning, and let's go get some clay. All right. Now, if we can go grab some clay here. Missed him. I think there was some clay down here, right? Yeah, there it is. It's gonna take a minute. <laughs> I imagine everything underwater just takes longer. Perfect. Clover in here? That was the one we knocked down, that's right. We'll take that clover back with us. Perfect, so it's clay, we can now make a water catcher. So hopefully, we'll just start acquiring water. We don't have to run around like crazy to go get it. Well, I'm coming for you at one point, Mr. Ladybug. Oh my goodness, your health is insane. So much health. Oh my good gracious, that's just so much health. Uh, does anyone know how much health each like section is? Because now I understand that's what it is with the with the ants. It was like per section. Goodness. Okay. Let's go ahead and build. That noise is, oh my goodness, this water catch is huge. Slurp and relocate. Oh, I see, empty to full. Somehow, I guess because of, um, the way that we're being this small and things uh, and water likes to stick to water, I can't remember what it's called at the moment. Uh, it's gonna, it'll actually stay within the acorn. Guess that makes sense. We need way more plant fiber. Isn't there a way to make plant fiber? Can we make plant fiber from something else? I feel like I saw that as a as a thing. Wasn't that a thing? Craft for plant fiber? Can we like cut down a tree or something like uh, some like logs or something or planks or something into that? Early morning, it's easier to find water droplets. Also, hitting the grass will knock it down. Oh, okay, that's good to know. That would have made life could have made my life easier if I just did it that way, huh? I like the challenge. I'll still shoot it. If I, you know, as long as I've got a pebble somewhere nearby. That fiber. I want to get a whole bunch of rope. But at some point, we're going to have to decide where we want to go and build our base. We do need to build a base at some point. It will need to happen. empty. Bummer. Alright. Let's see here. So we'll go back to crafting. Many of these. Many of those. 
This then requires a zoom, but we'll get that in a second once we get some water. I could use something to drink. Bunk. Don't even need to boil it. Oh, you can grab the, uh, the arrow too. Perfect. Oh, that's so good. We one shot him now. Uh. Oh, there it is. I didn't turn all the way around. All right, that's the gift we need. Man, can't wait till we start getting stronger arrows. I wonder when this thing fills. It's probably in the morning, yeah? Alright. Uh, we go to our inventory, we go to our shoes. We repair those. There we go. Shoes repaired. Quickness acquired. Okay. Perfect. Now, we build ourselves a spinning wheel. We really are going to need to make a new base <laughs> at some point. I just don't want to... I don't want to start building a, a huge, pretty base until, you know, we get there. Oh my goodness! That's amazing! Oh, so it takes time, but it's significantly cheaper. Okay, so the spinning wheel takes a lot more time to make the rope out of plant fiber, but it makes it at a, a one-third cost. Kind of huge. amazing. If it only stores water, or it doesn't make water. Oh, the water collector doesn't... Oh, it's a water container, not a water collector. Well, that makes sense. Alright, let's do a quick test here. I think you get every single piece of material back. Well, that's huge. Well, that's really cool. A garden patch? Jerky rack. Can't do a jerky rack yet. Oh my goodness, I see we use the legs. Oh my. Smoothie station. Yeah, water container, not a water collector. Sack catcher. Grinder. Storage baskets. Open a smith station. Thanks, why would I ever want those stuff? Oh my goodness, the clover stuff looks so nice. A clover roof looks really nice. There's planks. Oh yeah, we're gonna go crazy with building a house. What does this floor look like? Do I just put it anywhere? We're gonna have to find a flat surface if we're gonna do that. Must have been like scaffolding. Did I miss a scaffolding of some kind? Yeah, there we go. Stem scaffold. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, this is gonna be so cool. Alright, I'm excited. Once right, we get some silk rope. I can't remember what we were gonna use it for, but we need it. So we can only do five at a time. Silk rope. What was silk rope for? The axe. Okay, so we need to get four silk rope. We need to get the ladybug and the bombardier parts. So we have one set of bombardier parts already. Put the silk in here. Oh, we need to go and cook this immediately. And we need to eat this immediately. Just pretend it's beef jerky. Ooh, that's close. Almost missed that mark. Let's get a little more water. No water filtration tablets needed. So I wonder if we ever end up like I guess we only lose arrows when we like shoot them and we just can't find them. Quite nice. Munch, munch, munch. Alright, so I think our objective today is go to the hedge. I've been putting it off. We need to do it. I need more 
more boxes, but I don't want to make more boxes. We're just going to kind of dump some stuff in here. That X back. Alright, cool. So we got the spears that we can throw. We got this pollen that we'll just dump in here for now, I guess. With the food. The majority of our inventory is just tools that we're chucking. Alright, so we still need to get ourselves 150 science. Next level. We can try and do more armor. I don't know. Scan the web fighter? I thought we already did. did web fiber, did we not? Yeah, we did. Analyzed. Already taken care of. Um, I guess the check marks show you what you can make. So you can make the acorn mask. Looking mask made of acorn, which infects insects find delicious. So I guess it's like aggro's. Uh, Crafted by red and parts because it's hauling capacity. Still gives light armor though. Acorn actually still gives. It says heavy armor, but the defense value is the same. Oh no, no. It's uh, resistance is much higher. Hmm. Oh, the rope. Do it to the rope? You mean the, the silk rope? Oh, we can science that. Okay. Uncommon. Dew Collector! Oh my goodness. And a pink spider pink and this insect. Oh my goodness. Wow. I want all of those things. I would like to have all of those things. Or a Dew Collector. Alright, we almost have enough. Need a little bit more from the spiders, and we're good to go. Yeah, they all just have the same... More or less resistance armor. Medium armor, increased stamina. Hmm. That would be pretty good. We need to go find grubs. Haven't figured that one yet. So we've done a pretty good job. We've gone and explored all the way up and around here, right? We've gone all the way around here. We've explored all through this area. And we've actually explored up to here, up through this area. We've gotten a good amount of exploration done here. We really haven't done anything down here. We haven't seen this pond yet either. We're going to have to see that at some point. Uh, we need a little more water. We've got to track down a grub at some point so we can make canteens. So we're not struggling with water as much as we are. Oh, that. That sucks. That's a bummer. I don't even know where my arrow went. Oh. Hello there. Found it. I was going to Sky Kitten. That's how you do today. Where'd my arrow go? Alright, so I guess that's why you need to make new ones, is you can just lose them over time. That's fine. We got 30. We really want to lose 10 if we can help it. Accidentally, not on purpose. Of course, you don't want to just throw resources away. But if we lose 10, we'd be perfect. Uh, it's so good that you can move stuff from one key over one place to another without having to break it down. The inventory management as well. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, being able to move crafting stations and storage boxes and the like without having to break them down. It's really nice. Should make a smoothie maker or something so we can make some more food stuffs. Or like mushrooms and the like. We've gone here before this plank of wood is. Hey Mr. Ant. It's an ant. I keep myself caught on these wood planks. Or on the um 
thanks. On the, uh, on the things of grass. Strode forth, approaching the mouth of the foreboding cave. What horrors wait in? Was this one here? spiderling? There's bound to be more of them. Oh! Jeez, it's a spider. We've learned we don't like them. Oh my goodness, they're very sturdy. I don't know how much damage it's going to do. But uh, we do, like, no damage to them. We are not allowed in there. I'm out of stamina. I've been, I've been swinging my, my weapon too much. Okay. So, lesson learned. We can't go underground yet. Billy Hog. Need a level two axe. I'll oh, put away the torch. Good call. Good call. So we see the little indicator showing there's like a a science thing nearby, but I don't know how to read that as like, is it telling me a direction? Or is it just saying, hey, there is one around here? more mites. There's just like a double length mite. Disturb the mites and they'll bite. I'm not sure if holding my hands to my Got one. Uh, mites are weak to chopping and slicing. See those little head crabby mites. The attack speed of the of the spear is just so nice. Yeah, so chopping and slicing, I think it was. Not piercing. That's big ant. Oh my goodness. Oh, guys, look! It's an original 1982 yoked girth action figure. Well, some of them, anyway. <laughs> it's a part, part of them, in fact, actually. <gasps> nope. Not in there. No, we don't. Yikes. How's it going, Straw? How are you doing today? Yeah, it was a close call. The grounded one. That's okay. Fable got in second place, which means it's guaranteed for the next time we do a vote list. Or, uh, next time we do a vote, it's guaranteed to be on the list. Hey, Johnny, thanks for the follow. It's been good having you here. Welcome, welcome. Bomb your beetle. Put on your peepers. Oh, jeez. Oh, peepers that guy as soon as I'm done with his mites. We do need to take down a couple of bombardiers. What we got here? Weaknesses is rump. Chopping and fresh. Oh! Jeez. I'm not prepared to be seen. I was hoping to get the sneak attack, but he got the sneak attack and said, Hello! <gasps> nope, we're gone. I thought I could sidestep fast enough, but no, we actually have to sprint to dodge him. Ow. Get a heal on me. I just need to get some water. Have some water while we're out here. Look at the mushroom forest here. Underneath the deck. Don't even need to boil it. Alright, uh, we're gonna have to try that again. <laughs> Jeez. It was very close to your surprise ground one, but you're happy. Yeah, I mean, it was kind of bouncing back and forth between the two. Over the course of the 
uh, the vote period. But again, remember, there's going to be another vote tomorrow, so please don't forget. We need votes tomorrow for what game's going to be for our Wednesday-Thursday game. We'll be doing that as well. I get that vote going. Big plug over here. That's the hedge. Larva. Spicy chopping. A larva killed us before, but it was an infected one. I don't know if that makes it stronger or not. That's no grub. It's a larva. Hey, what you gonna do now, big guy? Oh, a pin cushion for me. You just hang tight there. I am human. Hear me roar. Softly, so we don't get anyone else over here while I'm currently dealing with this, uh, picking up all of our, our arrows. Larva spike. Okay. Ah, so we get the acid plants. Okay. All right, nice. We actually got all of our arrows back, too. Perfect. Nice. Really like this game? You find it fun to see others play? You out of here? All right. Good night, Johnny. We'll be playing this on Mondays and Tuesdays, so we won't be playing it the next two days. Next two days, we'll be playing Conan Exiles while the new vote's going. But do stop on by for the vote, at the very least. Just pop on in. Make sure you do that. Is the vote up? No, the vote up will be uh, vote will be up tomorrow, Straw. At the start of stream, we'll get that going. We'll start. We'll start the vote at the start of the stream tomorrow. Oh, look at that cassette tape. You're hoping for raft, but you actually see more raft than grounded. You only saw that it is very early access, so you go. Uh, so almost all content feels new to you. Nice. You need to get portal. I mean portal. I believe was portal. Portal didn't get second place, did it? Uh, Dredger got second place. Dredger's guaranteed. Portal will probably still be on there. Hey, Fid. Mama said, fight the power. Rap remix. Okay. There are so many of these. Larva here, we're not messing with those. Hey, how's it going for Bacchus? How are you doing today? What are you playing? We're playing Grounded. We just had the vote end today. And this is the game that won. Uh, but for Bacchus, we will have another vote going tomorrow. Don't forget to swing on by for that vote. Or, you know, Discord. Uh, or if you can't be here during the... Oh, there, there we go. If you can't be here during the uh, the stream, you can always just jump on in, go to the About section on, uh, on Twitch here, and uh, go down below where it says Current Votes and click on that. Starting tomorrow, we'll have it, uh, we'll have it up and running. Portal was on the other vote, though, right? Yeah, it was on the other vote, not on this vote. This vote didn't have Portal. The other one did. Uh, but it got third place last time. Dredger got second place. I don't think there's anything else I'm more interested in um, over Portal right now to replace Portal with. So I think we're going to keep Portal. lab modules have not held up as well as anticipated. I thought hiding these lab units in the hedge would provide a bit of protection from my rampaging children. But it appears not even the sanctuary of these leaves can protect my work from an errant flingman disc. <laughs> the subsequent breaches in the lab structures have invited all manner of arachnid invaders to wander in. My plan is to recalibrate the tasty bots for defensive action. A stopgap solution, to be sure, but I've no time for repairs, not when I'm so close to unlocking the mysteries of raw science. Raw science. I got the science. Bam. Is this game multiplayer or purely single player? I think it is up to four player multiplayer. I think it's four-person multiplayer as far as you get up to on this guy. Looks like there's some berries in here. All right, who here who's hanging out in chat right now is getting some hard flashbacks to Elden Ring right now? I sure am. 
I'm seeing mushrooms. I'm seeing I'm seeing a tree. Oh my good gracious, and a spiderling. Scary. Uh, I'm seeing mushrooms. I'm seeing a tree. Uh, we're gonna be fighting Melania at the end of this, right? Right? Jeez, I was not ready for that spiderling. I was too busy reminiscing. So we're climbing up. We gotta climb up to climb down. Not scaling down the tree. Not yet, at least. Let's see if we can take this guy out with the power of science and human ingenuity. Right, so there is drop off. Okay, so there's missile drop off. A decent amount of damage. Yeah, we're gonna lose some arrows here. Funnily enough, my arrows are actually blocking my other arrows from hitting them. What? Oh, come on. You just spawn another one, literally? Oh, come on, game. Now, that's not fair. Okay, game. Now, that, that right there, game, that is, that is... We call that truly not fair. Okay? <laughs> that's, that's, that's a high level of BS. All right? I'm trying to clear my way out of here. Next thing we know... It's no good. Jeez. <laughs> I want to continue on the ground floor down there. This looks like this is a water hose. No, no, it's a 1.5 volt. This is a electrical wire. We got to follow the electrical wire. 1.5 volt? What the heck are you running off of 1.5 volts? Did the dandelion thing help you float down? Yeah. And we, um, should have a spare. No, I stacked it away. Well, once this dandelion runs out, we're out. Get potatoes. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, we're running off the power of a potato. Potato power. Activate. Unfortunately, it's dark now, which is really not what I wanted. Mushrooms. Luckily, these guys can't quite climb like we can. Oh, does that have some water for us? That's some juice. Oh, laser. Definitely needed that. I can zip line? I'm flying! B. No! Not yet, B. It's the spider here. Give me the raw sights. Get in. Okay. Okay, apparently there's some arachnids in here, though. Fiat loops. Wait. That's not a spider. My health! Oh, there's two of them! Up. Probably want to go for a basher, right? My poor health. Alright, we're just gonna run in. Okay. Got raw science, got bandages. Re reboot. Okay. Jeez, just run past it. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Fall New Vegas vibes? Uh, really, though. All right. Hedge observation units. Here we go. Test 13 from good old Tully. Three test notes. Increase radio wave interference in the yard. Isolating a single source unsuccessful. Interference uses a broad roving spectrum of frequencies. Wrote code to alter surveyor frequency every five seconds, keeping it hidden. From the myst uh, mysterious static. Results. Success. Surveyor system reboot complete. Taz T 
units not used for guard duty have received a profile update and are currently en route to their harvest targets in the yard. Notes. TAS T units used in the field acquisition for showing signs, uh, increased signs of wear and tear, rust uh, must be uh, being the most pre uh, prevalent. Yes. 19 unknown radio signals were spotted during reboot process. Wow. Points of origin were not at fixed locations. That rules out the kids in Mr. Henderson. All signs point. Dominant. Hmm. Increased security protocols to all lab facilities. Installing biometric scanners where needed. Alright. Alright. Reboot. Just run past the enemies. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Oh, wow. Beep. Beep. Connection established. Excellent. Use survey stations to scan for analyzed materials. Oh, oh my. Visit additional stations to expand the survey network. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. That's awesome. That's great news. That means we can now start scanning for things all over the place. Speaking of which, we need to go and uh, scan these. I forgot you can take a look down here and it'll tell you. Uh, but we can, we've got two things we can scan. Are these guys still going to attack us, or are we in the clear now? Jeez. Oh, you hit really hard. Keep this thing right here. Mark that one off the list. Weakness is bad. Okay. Weakness is back. Oh no, not good. Not good. A little overconfident there. Don't do it. Oh my gracious. <laughs> These robots, they hurt so much. Oh no, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, he missed. He turned so quickly. Death waits for the slightest lapse in concentration. Nope. Oh, I want to get. I wanna, there's still some stuff in here we want to check. For a second. As long as that spider doesn't come over here, we'll be fine. Just healing up a little. Sap, we don't have any dew or anything else. We have a granola bar too. Choke it down, Pete. Choke it down? It's a granola bar. Is this permadeath? No, it's not permadeath, thankfully. Oh my goodness, we would have had to restart so many times already. I don't know enough about this game yet. We're just gonna grab things one at a time. I find it a wonder that the Burgle Mark IVs never caught on. I believe them to be far superior to the Mark Threes. Those never lived up to my expectations. How's that? They can only calculate post-cooking burger weights to the nearest tenth of a pound. And they only had enough memory for one seasoning module, salt or pepper. Ugh. All solved with you, Mark Force, not to mention your most excellent moustaches. That's true, I agree. Thank you. I will never forget this moment. Aww, Burgle. Excellent moustache. I do agree. This is a good moustache.
Red quartz shard. Ooh. Craft whetstones. Uh, quartzite shard can be crafted into whetstones. Use of upgrading tools to the smithing station. Oh, that could probably be useful. If we can upgrade our tools to do more damage, for example. Do I have range on you? Can you not hit me here? Uh-oh. You've been expelled. He's allowed to clip through the floor. That's unbelievably not fair. Don't worry, just slightly breaking the game. Don't mind me. Reboot. Ah, the regular, the first one. Reboot. All right. Uh, frequent scar is uh, frequent scar is being put uh, use is putting a drain on the cell volume supplies. Recalibrate the surveyor system to focus on needed components. Save new location profile and upload to Tazit Unit 009 and 017 for extraction. Results failure. Numerous system errors. Unknown interference during the scanning process. Likely radio waves of some sort. Ah. Well, we figured out which one it is. Is there anything else here for us? Nothing else we ran past frantically, right? The other one's over there right now. Ah, oh, dang it. He had his back turned. I'm gonna try. Alright, we're out of here then. Let's do a decent amount of damage. Will you guys fight each other? Or are you both gonna come after me? Nope, both come after me, okay. Yeah. <gasps> nope! <laughs> I missed. We were almost at the hang time here. Ooh, okay, <laughs> we made it. Oh. I'll take that. Very dark in the hedge. All the shards can be crafted into armor plates. These are upgrading equipment. Nice and clean. Wow, it's a bunch of two drops. Big in. Okay. One does not simply follow the schedule when playing a new game. It's true. It's true. We are definitely past standard schedule time. Last tip before you go. Uh, perfect blocks are important to learn. Perfect blocks. On well mode, it'll be an uphill fight. Good luck. Perfect blocks. I'm gonna have to figure out what a perfect block is. Oh jeez. Let's get ourselves out of the hedge. Gracious. I imagine it's a block, but perfectly ex executed. Quite likely, yeah. Let there be light. Okay, I can do this crow feather. Crow feather, tier two to chop down. Okay. Okay. Right, let's head on back. Craft whetstone and plating. Yeah, I think we need to go and do that, because if the ability to upgrade weapons and armor, that sounds like something we should really be working on. If I can get higher damage output, that'd be big. And also be able to survive bigger hits, because we get two shot from most. Ooh. Don't mind if I do, while we're here. Wow, it was actually just really slow for, for this compared to bashing things. It's in the name. You time your block precisely. 
to the <laughs> to the five uh, millisecond window. Ah, I see. <gasps> oh, jeez. Oh, please stop being caught on things. I don't know if he's following me here. It's not. An island out there. Probably pretty dangerous. Those glow bugs are very dangerous too. Something massive over there. Well, that spider's absolutely ginormous. It's literally coming towards us right now. Oh my goodness, I was about to say I'm not wrong. It is actually literally coming towards us. No, no, it's just on a path. It's just pathing. It's just pathing. It's fine. Let it be. Just wait a moment. Let it move along. Ease that thing moves so fast. Alright, we're out of here. We got to go. Hi, ladybug. At some point, we'll kill one of you. Can't do it yet, though. I think it's too much health. All the mites are over here. Oh no! Stop. Not good. Ugh. Let's get a, let's get some free uh, webbing. Not my intent, but I'll take it. Just steal the spider's home by accident. We gotta get home so we can sleep. Not far enough left this yet. Going. All right, we're almost there. We're exhausted. It's been a long day. Oh, stop it. Stop, stop being stuck on the grass. What is that red light over there? What is that red light over there? Huh. Oh, I see. Each time you find a, uh, a field station, you get like a little radius thing. Huh. Anyway. Well, I'm running home. Juice. Slurp. Juice slurp. Let go. The snail shell. Oh, I'm going too far north. Just went too far north. This way. It's tough at night. Nope, nope, this, nope, wrong way. Shot it the last two times. We're good now. Oof, made it back. Oh, there's a huge check mark when it finishes something. That's cool. Check that out. Get that axe back. Get some science done real quick. Analyze. Science. Liquid rage. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Interesting. Alright. Okay. Science. The acid gland. Which you get from larva. So now we know where to get this. Bug rubber. Okay. 
liquid rage? You extracting mushrooms like the Vikings? Not really, but kind of. Sleep for eight hours. Get a good night's sleep. Here we go. Okay. Let's see here. Bug rubber. We have no idea what it's used for, but we could science it. Let's make a bug rubber. No clue what it's used for. We can throw it at science. Analyze. A bounce web. Okay, I mean, the brain power is important. I care about that. But a bounce web? What is a bounce web? I'm gonna need more inventory space at this rate. Let me put the rocks in here. Web. A trampoline constructed of. Okay, it's just a trampoline. Huh. Time to walk the dogs? Alright, we'll see you around, Stormy Snow. Don't have too much fun out there. Let the dogs have at least some of it. Plus, on the rocks, we can now make because we got the clay. It increases our maximum health and heals us. That's pretty good. Boost juice requires aphid. Mushroom and acorn bits. There's our stamina and heals, okay. Liquid rage requires larva head, spider fangs, and mandibles. Wow. I don't know what that noise is. It does that, and every time it does, like our our thirst drops pretty fast. Shinobi sees sneeze. A pollen that hides from the sight of your enemies for short duration. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, we gotta figure out grubs. Grubs are gonna be an important one for us here. Alright, any other armor things? Acorn legs. Here we go. I don't know. Hauling strength, I think, is just for the big boy things. So that's fine. I'd rather go for the grubs, because I am a medium armor fan. Fan of medium armors. I think, we, I think honestly, with just how much damage we are taking, we don't have a choice. I, I have to take something with a higher defense resistance. Insects find delicious. I'm not a fan of it saying it looks delicious, you know. Hey, Sumatoki. Welcome. Thank you for the follow. Good to have you here. I, I don't like that it says it finds some delicious. I don't know what major threat means. I think there was... Super quit? What does super quit mean? Game repair, give up? What are all these buttons? Options, survival guide. Running, jumping, hucking. No, can I get like a... Durability, healing, spirit growth, consumable death. That's no, this is important. What I want to know is buff. Like, uh, what, what the icons mean. What, what do the icons mean? Give me more info. Hop crafting, crafting. Crafting stuff, that's fine. So, analyzer, I don't care about that. Nope. I could have sworn we saw a list of them at one point. I just don't remember where we saw that list. Yeah, is there any do there? Some do. Filtration tablets needed. Perfect. All right, that's good enough for the moment. So just, I just want to know what this means. R for ammo. Oh, oh, that's super cool. I like that. That's really nice. Must be in data. It's got to be in data. Stuff, places, pond, hedge. Field station, outfit mask. 
cards. Oh, let's take a look at these cards real quick. So neutrals. Okay. So worker ants, bees, and fireflies are neutral unless you attack them. Two hearts, two hearts, one heart. Okay. Angry. Mites, one heart. Larva. Larva only have one heart. Okay. Ruts only have one heart? That sounds crazy, because they have so much it's so tough to kill them. Mosquitoes have two. Stink bugs have two. Wolf spider. Jeez, those things are scary. Two. And the bombardier beetles, too. Yeah, the bombardier beetles are tough. We gotta upgrade our damage output. Harmless. David. David's the only harmless one that we have found so far. Apparently there's seven others. Oh, this up. Ah, this is where it is. Okay, thank goodness. Here we go. Here we go. Alright. Um. Okay, spicy damage roasts things on attack. Okay. So Death spicy is waits fire. For the slightest lapse in concentration. I see. I'll oh, be careful. Are we there yet? Uh, not yet, Provocus. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. Not yet, Provocus. It's been six months. Has it been six months? It hasn't been six months, Provocus. It can't be. It can't be six months. Has it really been six months? Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, I need to stop procrastinating then. That is incredible. It's really been six months. Holy. All right, I need to get that done. All right, so increase the amount of stamina required. The swing. Earn's proximity to death. Okay, so unfortunately, it, it does it still doesn't tell us the information I want to know for the icon. What does major threat mean? All this time, I know, right? We've been doing yeah, we've been doing side quests this whole time. I've been distracted. So many side quests. I, I'm I'm worried about what major threat means. Because if it means that we have a larger aggro radius and more of them are going to attack us more often, then I definitely do not want it. Whoa, spider venom? This poison. Wow, okay. Got a pebble spear, which is a tier one weapon. With a larva blade. Which poisons. Just need to get that grub hide. If we can find grubs, we can go and get the larval blade. That'd be pretty cool. The larval's blade is does poison and does more damage than the um, than the pebble spear, and it's a slashing as opposed to a piercing. And this thing actually does the most damage. We should make a a, a spiky sprig. I'm gonna get a spiky sprig on hand. I want one. Fallen arrows. Perfect for bringing down. Oh, perfect for bringing down pesty flyer creatures. Flyer stun and movement down. Major threat increases creature favorability for the player over other sources of aggression by 10%. Okay, so just aggro win for playing multiplayer. Okay. Oh, thank goodness. I was worried it was gonna be like worse for us, but since we're playing single player, it doesn't matter. Since we're playing single player, it doesn't matter. Don't technically need to have those in our, or how far here. This thing's about to give out. That soon. Um, there you are. What the? Why? I don't. I don't understand how things are. In a specific weapon to the backpack. Okay. Put you here. Put you there. Put you there. Uh, torch is fine in five. Next here. We're not often using this guy. He does do bashing damage. Hold on to him for bashing damage is needed. 
There we go. I'm curious about using this. This thing apparently does twice as much damage. Granted, it's a slower attacking thing, and we're gonna be up in, up in someone's face. Let's see if we can find an ant. Yum. We'll go eat that. It's decaying. Is there any more dew around here? Is there any more water? It's like the end of the day, so I don't think there's any water left at all. It's not good. We need that dew collector going. I think we just needed like what one more thing of silk? Ah, ants. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh, is that thing an incredible or what? Oh my goodness, its stun is huge. No wonder. Okay, yeah, this this weapon feels good. I always love maces. I'm a bigger fan of maces. It also does bleed damage, which is quite nice. Spears, I still I still say, you know, definitively, they are the superior weapon that humanity has created. Being able to hit something with a pokey piece that moves really, really fast is is superior to any other like type of weapon we've ever designed. Which is why bullets are the bullets are teeny short spears. That move really fast that we throw with a gun. Right? Like it's it's the same principle, just better. Maces, they're not really the best. You know, ever since armor, like padded armor came around, they've just never really been the best. But I just like them in video games more. For the combat style more. We are gonna take out the spear though, because we're gonna be dealing with spiders. I might want to throw one at him. I need you to move away from your nest for a second here so I can go and take that web. Also, there's raw science here. Let's go grab that raw science real quick. A scientific breakthrough. Alright, run out and see where he's at and we'll reset. He's coming back. Grab this real quick. Taking that. Let's see if there's one more we can grab over here. I'm, I'm worried about going down. Now we gotta get some water. We gotta get some water right now. I don't see any do at all. And it's the end of the day. Supposedly there's less do when it gets later. I don't want to drink any dirty water if we can help it. Ah, there's some dew. Don't even need to boil it. Perfect. I need to make some more arrows. Okay. That. Actually, interesting question. Does uh, does grass and stuff grow back during the playthrough? Or no? Once you knock it down, it's down. Oh. Good. Assume that. Worse than my mom's Brussels sprouts. Any other do around here we can grab for? I guess not. Right, let's head back. Wrong way. This way. Back we go. Maces can feel quite satisfying playing melee. I realized, uh, I recently heard from somebody who had lots of fun switching from range combat to baseball bat in Fallout 4. Yeah, it's just, I don't know, it just it feels more satisfying. All right, what do we need to make that do collector?
Two collector. Silk. Okay, so we just need two more silks. All right, so we'll get those silks going. Then we just need to go get some weed stems. And then we'll actually have some water production here, which will be good. That's what we need. Excellent. All right, perfect. Inventory-wise, we're doing well. We're going to need to get a smithy up. We can do that in a bit. Reflect damage back to attacker. Meal, delicious meal stops your hunger from depleting for a while. That's really nice. Well fed. Just a healing benefit. That's good. Okay. I really should start playing with our additional inventory slots. I think that's going to be the next thing I need to I want to work on uh, in terms of muscle memory is starting to switch between our additional inventory slots. And so what we'll do is we'll have a weapon row, a crafting row, and a food row. Or like a, an item like healing and whatnot row. We'll probably still keep one healing item on the weapon row. But essentially have it where like we put um, do something like this. Is there another tool that we need? there. So now we can pop down to all of our harvesting tools. We can get a bigger arse. We can even get an even bigger arsenal of tools or uh, weapons. It'd be nice. Give us a lot of um, a lot of freedom for playing between using these guys. So the club doesn't do bleed damage. Oh my gosh, look, how much, look at the damage and stun on here. Oh my goodness, so good. We just need to get red ant mandibles, which I think we get from the big boys. Too awake, can't sleep. I don't know. Guess we didn't mess up our sleep schedule, didn't we? I do like the water physics. They do, like, actually, you know, low. Cool. So what we need to do is we need to take out uh, two warrior ants. Who's moving that? Some ants moving around over there. It's a worker ant. We can ignore him. The thing is that uh, big boy ant actually did a lot of damage to us. Right, if it's just one, I think we can take him. Oh, jeez, he jumped to <laughs> I was not ready for that. If it's, just, if it's just you and me, buddy, I think we can take him. Only have six shots left. He's die. Oh, I got him. He was nice and patient for us. I think we're going to have to rely on terrain. Don't do it. What is all that stuff down there? Oh my goodness. They like knocked down an entire part of the forest there. Yes, mandibles. Oh, also acid glands. Nice, okay. We need to go and uh, use peep on these guys, I guess. Please don't. Please, please don't. Man, every time he walks up to us, I'm just, I'm just nervous he's going to try and hit us. Look, it looks like they knocked down like a tree or two over here. Uh-oh, that's another angry one. Mm -hmm. Up, uh, sedazies. Come up here, you. Bye. No, he can jump down. No one wouldn't do that. Get up, get up.
Bring around the rosy, big guy. Bring around the no juice. Oh, oh no! This <laughs> stupid. No, no, no. Or at least the baby. Uh, at least the uh, worker ant's the one that hit us. Got him. Okay, soldier ants back up. Go, 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 go. Oh, taking that. What are you gonna do? Where you at, big man? Spotted. He backed off. You shouldn't back off. I am not done with you. I need a second one of your mandibles. Wildly whipped that shot. Nope. Jump. Jump, jump, jump. Okay. Good. Good. Need that. Hey. Hey. Mister. Come here. They're, they're chopping down the forest here. I don't know if you can make that jump. That jumps too tall for him. Oh, 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 I spoke way too soon. Luckily, he's about done. Wow, those are. Jeez, these guys give us a lot of stuff. Alright, that's great. We can upgrade our armor and our weapons a little bit more. We should be able to take these guys out without having to resort to running in circles. I know, right? GG. We got him. But also, look at how much they're knocking down. What are they doing over here? Detecting a soldier ant in our area. Proceed with caution. Nope. Nope. I didn't want to fight you. How many ammo? How much ammo do I have? Still sixteen shot. Okay. Missed him. Missed him. Oh, he's carrying uh, grass. Oh, he tried. Oh, did you see that? He actually reset so he could make that jump. That arrow? Nope. He's jumping very fast at us. I don't know how much damage that do. That did a decent amount of damage. Oh, he didn't actually jump down yet. I'm jumping the gun here. Buddy. Oh, dang it. That was a low shot. Oh no. Things always break on me. <laughs> oh no. Alright, we're just gonna go back to the bow. We're gonna be consistent. Let's be consistent. Oh, I don't know where he's jumping. He healed a little. You monster. Especially speaking, this thing is a monster. It's a tank. Right, nine more shots. No, get off the... No, oh, it's got a friend! Oh, I guess last time I shot him in the eye. Are we taking that? No! No! I'm out of stamina. <laughs> he brought a friend. He brought a friend. Oh, I had that. I had that one in the bag. But he brought an extra friend. Oh. All right, it's fine. I hope all my things are still here. Don't you eat my body, Mister? Go away. I'm taking all my stuff back. Thanks. I didn't want that last fight. But I thought I might as well try and grab, you know, the resources I could. But I didn't I didn't want that last fight. My reflexes are starting to get a little dulled. It's okay. That's okay. We we respawn, they respawn. It sorts out in the end. Yeah, if we upgrade our tools, we're gonna be really <laughs> left end look right. Oh my goodness, the rips. Okay. We're gonna make a quick dash. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. 
Don't mind me. Whoop. Oh. Okay, wrap. Just picking up some free stuff. Don't mind. Don't mind me. I'm just uh, borrowing stuff from their hard work. Rat, rat. Okay. Oh my goodness, I can breathe normally again. Holy. It's so dense. Perfect. All right. We got what we needed. We can go and we can upgrade our mace. Already. We just made the other one. We can already upgrade to the Red Ant Club. Look at this thing. Three chunks of damage. Three and a half chunks of stun. Incredibly slow. But it's the same speed as this bad boy. Significantly slower than you, but... Everything's gonna be. It doesn't cause bleeding though, which is a little unfortunate. But the damage it can do. It's just damage and the stun. Ooh, I'm excited. Oh, no, put that back. Put in slot four. Oh my goodness, okay. Alright, we we're gonna unfortunately have to go and try this on an ant. Uh, not on him, though. He's a big boy ant. I want a baby ant. I want an ant worker. New toy unlocked. Time to go for a quick play. Yeah! New toy unlocked. Right, I just need to find a regular... Regular nothing, nothing too special worker ant. Well, let's actually sleep real quick. I might be able to. Right, sleep. We gotta fix our sleep schedule here. Nine, nine twenty-three. It's not bad. It's not bad. All right, ant. <laughs> oh my goodness! This thing hits like an absolute truck. All right, I'm feeling pretty good now. I'm feeling pretty good. Once we lose six more arrows, we'll go ahead and we'll swap out. The insect axe is our next goal. Our next goal is the insect axe. Actually, the insect bow. If we can somehow manage to take out two spiders. Oh my goodness, look at that difference. It's a little more than one full block. I don't know if we can take out a spider yet, though. I don't think we're ready for it. They hit way too hard. We'll have to upgrade our armor and weapons. Well, that. Weevil here real quick. One shot. What? No. Wait. They still three shot him? Wild. Oh, maybe he's resistant to clubs. He's resistant to clubs. That's crazy. Let's go ahead and get this bad boy in our belly. In the meantime, grab a little water. No water filtration tablets needed. Excellent. Right. Give me the meats. Yes. Mm. Not bad. Not bad. All right. Perfect. Well, I think this is where we're going to go ahead and end the stream today. That was really good. We got a lot of progress done. I mean, probably not compared to most people that play this game. I feel like we got a lot of progress done. We did a lot of mapping. I now have a pretty good internal compass of about a fifth of the total map, but we've explored about a quarter of the whole map. Some sections I still don't know quite too well. Uh, we've managed to get ourselves a couple of tier two items and we've got our site set on fully setting that up. I think the next time, I think the next time the big goal is going to be finding a place to actually start building an actual base and spend maybe 30 minutes to an hour building a base and then going from there. I don't see why we wouldn't build a base at this point because we can make little outposts around different points of interest, but I think, I think one big base would be the goal. I think we might go kind of we might go kind of big on the base too. Might go a little crazy. So 
we shall see we shall see <laughs> But thanks for hanging out, everyone. I really appreciate it. This is a fun game. So do not forget that we will be playing Conan Exiles the next two days from now. So tomorrow and the day after. And when we're playing both of those games, starting tomorrow, we'll have a new vote for that time slot. So for Wednesdays and Thursdays, we will have that vote active starting tomorrow at, st uh, at the start of the stream. So make sure to either come on by uh, to go ahead and vote. Go ahead and grab it off of Discord, or you can grab it in the About section here on Twitch. Let's go ahead and let's give Longclaw another rate. Longclaw is still playing uh, hardcore uh, World of Warcraft, so we'll go ahead and give him a ra another raid here. Give him another raid. We're playing another tough game. He's playing a tough game. Let's go ahead and do that. But uh, yeah, this is a blast. I'm really enjoying this game. I'm glad it won. Then again, all the games on the list I'm excited for, but I'm, I'm glad we're playing this one, jumping into a survival game. I love these types of games. So, have a good morning, evening, or night, wherever you are in the world. I will see you tomorrow for some Conan Exiles. And next week, we'll be playing two days over our normal scheduled time. More grounded. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>